comrades. Comrades. Sukas. <laughs> well, you are Suka. You are what? Suka. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in Madagascar. <laughs> Vodka Martin. for everybody. Vodka. It's for Danya. <laughs> Sorry, Shizzle. Oh. I'm excited. Shizzle. He's always yelling when he gets excited. Yes, I'm well, screaming. It's an exciting day. It's an exciting day because I really thought for a minute there that this channel was going to go down. Like I was making. Is it Playboyski now? Like what's up, Playboyski? Yeah, Playboyski. Yes. What's up, Playboyskis? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> I heard Pawpaw had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's he's put out a video at, or and or streamed on the hour every hour to, for the past three or four hours. Um, I mean, you know. For him, I'll, we can listen to what he has to say. This is like, so this is the latest one. I think he's still live right now. Um, now, I thought, you know, that yesterday was going to be my last day ever talking about Chili because that's what he said. But, like, so weird, guys. I think he lied or something. I don't know what happened there. Just, you know. Chili never lies. No, but he but he's, he's got a positive attitude about it. So here he is. Here he is. Yeah, Booker T uh, doesn't have the best reputation. Just from the Atlantic Compromise, because that's the okay. first. History lessons are boring, Chili. You don't I'm know history. Learn procedural law, and I'll just get better and better at it. But uh, yeah, I took it. I took it. You're not getting uh, better, bro. Here, this, this, this is his thing. This guy's name is Isaac Hopper. Isaac Hopper. Does anybody know who Isaac Hopper is? Does anybody know who that is? Can anybody tell me who Isaac Hopper is without looking on Google? Do you know? You look and tell me who <laughs> Isaac Hopper is. Yeah, it's is. like he's teaching a class. Like, no one can tell you. Right. Kate, no this, is not, hey, Kate, Hopper this is not the video right after court. Super. No, 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 no. no. This is the one that's live right now. Oh, okay. I'm just, he's going to have a meltdown in about five seconds. So he's, he's, oh, okay. he's trying to he's get He's going to realize we're live. So what's, yeah. the, what's the relation here? What Anybody know who I – I mean uh, – so put a number five in the chat if you've heard of Isaac Hopper what the fuck? ever before. Right. If you've heard of Isaac Hopper. Why ever five? Before. Uh, now we're blocking comments again. This oh yeah, the, the LG. Cycle. I disagree with some of your stuff, but never been rude, nasty or use names. Yet you people block me, and I even donate. Um, the LG. We're trying not to block people who so uh, are not assholes. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> my alarm i do have a 7 p.m so uh, but listen uh everybody here is, is super fair dude if, you, if you're not in here calling names no they are not it, it's it's right. if you come in here cops sucking lg did, <laughs> let me ask lg a question do you ever come cops in here suck cops in. sucking you ever come in here you know trying you know trying to suck off the cops or say back the blue or shit like that because stuff like that throw cops in his comments you know yeah stuff like that will uh you know what i'm saying very tolerant are no we going to see in real time if he has I, alerts I, I, set for I, I you? I appreciate your your comment, he, Jesus, there. But, uh, you know, I, I got a lot to learn. So I'm just learning as I go. I'm going to learn procedural law, and I'll just get better and better at it. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, took, <laughs> I took an L. It's working out great. notice. Boo, you've <laughs> been suing like people for, like, 10 noticed, years. So. Cool. Cool. Now, more than half of YouTube has noticed, Chili. Oh, Let's yeah. just be clear, Chili. Okay, a very small percentage of YouTube as a whole is noticed because most people don't know who the fuck you are or who I am. More people seem to know who I am than you at this point. <laughs> Go figure. But uh, like everyone in your YouTube sphere has noticed. Everyone. This guy's comments have been just overwhelmingly negative for days with this shit. Because he did. He was like, mark my words. I'll put money on it. After the 21st, Kate's channel's going to be gone. <laughs> and then he changed it a little bit. It was like, or she just won't be able to talk about me. Surprise. Guys, cunt. I'm still calling you. Look at that. $200. You got he out, like, oh, cunted, Chili. <laughs> he looks Surprise, so pale now, Kate. You made him anemic. No, it's probably his heart issue. <laughs> right. Whatever ailments I've caused him. You know, oh, yeah. His high blood pressure knee. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell, I'm going to tell you guys the pressure. story of court. Now, one thing about this. So, uh, I will say. <laughs> The judge was very clear in putting in a very clear order that no one was to record. 
it would appear that someone probably chili de constro uh went ahead and recorded anyway so it, it's out there i'm not gonna put it on my channel just because you know like i don't feel good being a part of these fucking court circuses like it's embarrassing for most people to be like yup this is the bullshit that i'm here for today um we'll get into that in a minute but if you want to listen to it, it it is out there i'll get the uh, ftr uh, at some point as long as they cooperate with me now the one thing i will say you should not be disappointed you you and i hate fucking giving josh credit for anything you guys did a fucking jam up job on staying on point and poor chili was sweating like mike tyson in the spelling bee he could not stop sweating and it yeah, was he looked kind of sweaty yeah, he <laughs> a little sweaty. sweaty yeah a little bit but you guys did a great job you have nothing to be ashamed of didn't chili yeah. laugh during josh's testimony Yes. Oh yeah, no. He actually he like laughs something. when he's nervous Ooh. or sees a love interest. No, he mm. laughs when he's angry. That's what yes. like when he we like. Yeah, when it's very that laugh that he gives is his triggered laugh. It's when he's triggered. <laughs> oh, his cackle, and he thinks yeah. that he's going to be some sort of law scholar, and he can't even keep a straight face. Someone asked in chat if he had a warrant. Nothing has been. No. Like, no. He no, the comment, warrant. the judge had already moved on to the next case. The comment she made was to pull up the warrant for the next case. It had nothing to do with Chile. Yeah, let's be clear, guys, okay? Nobody gives a fuck about Chile de Castro in the real world. Like, this is like a <laughs> vacuum. It's a bubble. But, like, the judge clearly didn't even fucking want him there. I can tell you the bailiffs and the, the COs there, they did not want him there. All of the people in the court did not want him there to the point to where uh, as we were leaving, the courtroom erupted in applause and I was pissed off because we had like a couple of people there, only a handful of people. I think one, two, three, four, maybe five people showed up uh for for me and josh right the rest of so i was like what the fuck so i go out to our little group and i'm like were you guys fucking clapping and they were like no it was the rest of the courtroom and they weren't oh, yeah, everyone like, waiting for their case to be heard was so fucking done with Chile. Right. <laughs> yeah they right. were done they every yeah, <clears throat> go ahead oh, sorry that's what I was going to say, though, is they weren't clapping like, yay, Kate and Josh. Like, you know, they were clapping like, thank God these fucking clowns are leaving, <laughs> right? Like, they didn't <laughs> want anything to do with it. <laughs> well, it's also that they were clapping because the judge ruled against Chile. They were, I, yeah. I was watching, I was watching everybody in the gallery and they were tired of the arguments. Oh, you arguments. know what? When he kept, like, trying to tell the judge about law and, like, talking down to her, everyone in there was like, what the fuck? Like people yeah. are getting pissed. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we'll we'll get to that in a minute. Let's listen to Chili's, you know, sort of Chili's take on today and his his uh, positive can-do attitude. Oh, is that right? The LG. Interesting. All right. Well, listen. All the moderators are now aware of who you are, dude. And I'm not gonna. If I mean, if, I mean, that's cool. You can be critical of formal cops, but I'm just. I've been honest about this since the very beginning. There will be no cops sucking here. And you've seen me like even buddy up to cops and be friends with cops on camera. But I just, if you got timed out or blocked, I mean, so, but LG, I appreciate your, your position. So did no one, no one, no one ever told me who Isaac Hopper was though. No one ever, no one ever told me who Isaac Hopper was. Did anybody ever figure that out yet? Nobody is a fuck chili. Anybody ever figure that out? Nobody is a fuck. <laughs> it's not a zoom call chili. Anybody? I hate that he acts like someone's going to raise their hand and be like, I know Isaac Mr. Hopper. DeCastro. So Isaac Hopper ran <laughs> the Underground teacher. Railroad. He started the Underground Railroad. Isaac Hopper was... Uh, He's got 15 people watching now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got, you know, I mean, I mean, Juan Galt is here. Does he Juan's literally? An attorney, so everybody talks to yeah. him. You know, I, I don't know how good of an attorney or if he's... A, you know, I mean, I don't know him. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know he him. went I don't to know college, Chile. My friends. <laughs> but, uh, you know... Um, Juan Galt, you know, I mean, you you know, if you want to get a little screen recording, I have a lot to learn. Oh, shocker there. <laughs> I have a lot to learn, especially about procedures of law. I already covered this. So um, now here's the important part. I think that that people just kind of they gloss over it and they don't really take the historical significance of what the 17th Amendment does. Does anybody know what the Seventeenth Amendment does? Does anybody he know just what the Seventeenth Amendment amendments is? Every time he fucks up. No, <laughs> do, do you? No, the history lesson is over. The Seventeenth Amendment is. Look at now he's in the chat. His head's out of it. Anybody know? Poor guy. I kind of feel bad for him. The hate. <laughs> so anybody know what the Seventeenth Amendment is? 
And why, why is it so historically important? And why would we use the 17th Amendment as a kind of guiding line to understand? You know, why is Juan got it? That's exactly correct. So in 1913, with the 17th Amendment, here, sorry about that. Let me lift it up. He's so short, he has to zoom. <laughs> in, in the year 1913, you know, we get the 17th Amendment. And so, you know, everybody talks about, and I talk about the Constitution being the most now. important thing, and your Bill of Rights. <laughs> uh, uh, you, know, you can go on and on about philosophy of the country and those things. Kate, can but you I the think chat again? the super important part I already is, said it for is, 60 seconds. is we don't, we don't really. <laughs> it's just, we don't live by a constitutional <laughs> standard at all whatsoever. So sure. At all whatsoever. But. The 17th Amendment, what it did, it was written that the House... Does, it kind of annoys me at this point to hear Chili talk about, you know, uh, constitutional rights at all as he continually tries to trounce all over my First Amendment right. Like, oh, but you're a woman. We're ridiculous. not entitled to rights, obviously. Right. I should get in the kitchen and make another sandwich for Chili. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. Shut the fuck House of Representatives which? would appoint... <laughs> a senator and so then in the middle of the lochner era where the supreme court the unelected group of of gods who decide over our civil rights they you know we get a, a con we get an amendment created through congress that says we're going to elect senators so what what has to happen first of all right when we get it when we get an amendment to go through congress Shut the fuck how's up, that happen? Chili. okay the hold senators on. and members of the house of representatives those I would have never have gotten my an amendment. degree. The people who are in the the office in history, if he was a teacher, they as accountable because there wasn't yeah, really no. as much connection with you know, hey, we voted this way, and then the people, you know, Arizona, you saw that the 50-50 split. I just really want to see the so after court we, one, like so Congress very badly. A bill and passes it, the president signs it and says that we're this one's actually senators. better. That's right, it was by Taft. That's exactly correct. Hold on, he's Taft coming. Is my least favorite president. Well, not least favorite, the second, the third, to the bottom. I would say. So you know, you start to say to yourself, right. you know, two times the people in government agreed that we need to elect senators, right? Because nineteen thirteen. What was the name of the movie? I know someone will get it. I saw it when I was a kid. Mr. Phillips Goes to Washington. Mr. What was the name of that movie? If anybody likes Boy Oh movies. my God, shut up, Chili. Jimmy Stewart was the star of the movie. Mr. Stewart Goes to Washington. What is it? Gosh dang it, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember the name. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. There it is. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, so you know, we have to get there too, though. We need to elect the Supreme Court. I mean, that's what has to happen. I mean, that's what absolutely has to happen. But listen, you know, um, I've been on for one hour now. Uh, there's a couple things I want to get done still tonight. Uh, you know what? Oh, shit. Okay, here All right, here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> oh, okay. I have a um I have a um so the moderators who have my email address you can contact me. I'm going to be on another show tonight so uh writes on the people who we know, you know, you guys can send them over but you know guys celebrating a big milestone Hello? so I want to help them celebrate his big milestone but um I'll jump off here for the next uh 30 minutes, uh, I go back on live with uh, my buddy at 7 p.m. So I will let you guys know, my moderators and my friends who email me, I'll let you guys know yeah. uh, what channel I'm going on, okay? Oh, you know, listen, All right, let's watch this after talk. court. I appreciate you guys. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, I lost. I took a loss. Let's go. <laughs> I, oh my god, it's a double so loss, creepy. chili. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Two losses. We, bad guy in a we don't stop. Movie. We don't stop. 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 Oh my god. We don't stop losing. Please stop. What Please critics stop. And these right, 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 right. He's doing well. Listen, to it. it's only a few Damn. more minutes of this. Just listen to it. Just listen to him. It's fantastic. So he's already spurging out. Like, we don't stop. Like, stuck on repeat, like self-soothing himself. Uh, eyes are real red and teary, really looks pale. Um, he really shouldn't talk about my skin because that's looking a little bit more bumpy than me. Chili, fuck you. Um, just really rough looking, not having a good day. And like, but it's okay. Listen to it. He, he, he's going to bounce guys back. Guys do. I don't care. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. This galvanizes our team. We don't stop. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping till this bullshit is over. Till this bullshit here is over. Until we get rid of stupid laws that don't belong on our books. Where is the part where I'm he not says he has a big secret? Until Hold on. The cops are say back the blue or shit. But there's somewhere where he said he had a big secret. 
there it is. Okay. Look how little he is. The main roof is packed. <laughs> so we shall proceed, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe it's right here. I'm going to show you over the next three months. I'm going to show you guys the history of the system, how the system works. Wait, no, goes wait. far, far, far beyond here. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere out there. So, <laughs> so creepy. Through a channel that, that they didn't know how they got there, but they're listening. They'll hear my message. <laughs> watch the videos and they'll go. I don't want to hear it. Let's change the system. Let's change right, the system. Let's go, let's go to his after fucking court one. Holy shit. This is just. He looks like he'd lock you in a room and make you cut your own toe off or something fucking weird. Like he's a it's horror. Fucking movie. creepy. Look at the far, pause. Far, Look at the far, pause you just away. had. Do you want to play a game? All right, game? where's the after court? <laughs> right? Would you like to play uh, the game? He's gone three times. Look at, okay, so right here. Immediately so, after court. Just, I, this is great. This, this is it. This, this is the one. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, Playboy? Hey, what's going on, Playboy? What's, what's going on out there in the land what's of up, YouTube? Sad boys? What's going on, YouTube? How is everybody? What is going on? What is going on? So, how is everybody? Good to see you, Guillermo. Good to see you. How are you? How are you? Good to see everybody. So, I went to court against um, bad people, and the judge <laughs> didn't get to call, let me call a witness and didn't look at any evidence. So the judge sat up there, listened to two people's stories who just lied their asses off, and then no. didn't look at any of the evidence. They don't usually call witnesses for fucking harassment orders. Against me. So, oh, you know, hold on, I hold talked on, to hold a friend on. yesterday. You can. You can if, if they really? witness harassment, right? Yeah, um, yeah, but they can't like give their own testimony about their own harassment. Cannot be heard. Yeah, yeah. Right, can't be like I heard. Happened. Well, not that. Well, the that's not even what he wanted. Right. He wanted to call a witness and have these sworn affidavit affidavits that he even got notarized. You guys, so it's really fucking serious. Um, to essentially say like Kate's harassed me in the past too, right? But it's it's hearsay because it's completely irrelevant to the underlying question here, which is like the one thing that the court has to determine is have I harassed this man to a level that meets or satisfies sort of the uh, the elements her, you know, to issue an order. That's all they fucking care about. They don't care that Cyrax and uh, Aiden Redmeat, I cheat on my wife, Carney, and fucking, uh, you know, Joe Greasy Crying Ginger Orga feel like, you know, that I've done scream. in the past. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the Orga scream has haunted me since. <laughs> yeah, she didn't know until our stream last night about the Orga scream we showed her. We 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 did last night. We spent some time reminiscing because you know, by all accounts, Chili assured me that it was the last day of my channel. I wanted to spend it, you know, where it counts with my dear online friends, remembering some of our best exploits and 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 memories. And yeah, I mean, thanks for writing that affidavit, you gingy, you greasy ginger, fucking piece of shit, Joe Orga. <laughs> we reminisced about you a lot. I remember catfishing you. It was a good time. Internet trolling bit. We did. We showed your arrest. Like we yeah. showed you getting catfished. Uh, right, we showed right, Kate right. slandering or defaming you. Um, it was awesome. Well, listen, when you say Kate defaming, I wasn't defaming him. It's because when I catfished him, he, he I screamed know. that it was defamation. you got to watch your mouth right now. I'm on the chopping block, Harry. That's true. These, but look at the pause. These motherfuckers the are coming for this head. Like, this is not no, over. But... Let's be clear. This is not over. They are coming for me. And I that's gotta, his like, butthole face. Yeah, it is his butthole face. Yeah. That's, that's the finger in my butt face. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's listen to this. Let's listen to this. We got to do one at a time. Let's speak here, Joe. And they said, you know, there's a chance you'll lose the case anyway. And then from there, you know, look, I've got to get back to mission here. You know, there's... There's people, you know, the lawsuits I'm doing are gonna go through. So, <laughs> um, you know, let the let the trolls celebrate and and there's you the know, misplaced confidence that we all know. You get to be creepy more. You get to be creepy for longer. Like, what's the? <laughs> what's? I mean, it's so it's so. You people are so creepy. The people who stalk me are so creepy. Like, what's that like to be such a creeper? How do you tell your friends and family that you do the things you do? so creepy but Ooh, with that laughter. line right there that line right there is going to make dirty hands pointing fingers tomorrow right yeah i'm the creepy one 
Chili DeCastro, who calls random young women babes and, you know, accosts them on uh, traffic stops. And you know, Chili DeCastro that just stares into the camera intently as he talks about how he's going to obliterate his enemies and just laughs at nothing. Maniacally. Chili DeCastro, <laughs> who literally can't even drink water like a normal person. <laughs> hey, you put your pinky up when you to eat. Last week, you had a fully erect pinky. Don't you dare, Kate. I did. I wanted to be. Classy. I called her out on it too. I was like, "Don't be chilly." <laughs> That's why I did it, though, you know, because uh, I was making fun of chilly. So let's, you know, context here. Yeah, I was making fun of chilly. No, the, you literally the, did it because we... you did it. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did Feels it. of justice take a long time to spin. It's going to take a long time to spin. It's going to take a long time. So it's perfectly fine. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Can I still broadcast? Can I still so broadcast? Can yes, so oh, can okay, yes, so, so can we. They got owned all these things. Okay, so who cares? But but for the people who come here for to for the change and to to look at new a new system and to get cameras in the courtroom, you get to see what happened here. You know, there's there's uh, there's there was no accountability for the judge who didn't let me call a witness and didn't listen to any of my evidence. I mean, pretty, pretty, pretty oh, it's the judge's pretty shocking, fault. I knew it. Anyway, listen, I just wanted to come on here and tell the people who love and support this channel and what we're doing. So listen, the next couple of days got to shift directions here because <laughs> I'm going to go into entrepreneur mode and I'm going to create the new timeline. And then I told you, so right there, that's what it comes down to. Is now he's gonna go into entrepreneur road because he's fucking homeless. He's broke. He can't get an insurance van uh, check on his fucking van. How does it feel to lose this much, Chili? I'm just honestly curious. Like, how does it feel? I can't believe that he's not more. I know that he's really trying to portray that he's unfazed and he's doing a good job. I thought he would take this a lot harder. So I'm proud of you for that, Chili. You're handling this a lot better than I. Um, that I anticipated that then again, I would assume that at some point you become desensitized to being this much of a lifelong loser. I think that's where we're at right now. I would be anyway, like, you know, like what if, so what Chile lost today, the sun, you know, rose in the East and it set in the West. Uh, there was grass on the ground. Yeah, the, the temperatures are dipping a little bit because we're getting towards autumn. These are just the rules of nature. They're never going to change, right? Just as the sun will, you know, rise and set, Chili will wake up every day and fucking lose. It's what he does. Losers lose, Chili. If he hadn't bloviated for three days, if, he, if there was any humbleness in him whatsoever, it would have been one thing. But the fact that he went on a tangent for this last since Friday, you're coming down. Enjoy the 21st. Last time you're going to you're going to you're going to broadcast. You know, it, it wouldn't be nearly as funny as it is. Yeah, it just came off as an abuse of the system. Right. And, you know, it's funny that he couldn't even submit his stuff in time. And it's just like it, HPO's stuff is written so that you, you can understand it pretty easily to file. Well, and he said that he was submitting it. If He's been working on it for yeah. two weeks. And why was Zane late getting to court? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We'll get into all that because that's some bullshit. We got <laughs> one step at a time here. I'm trying to tell okay. a story. All Here's right. a story of a lovely oh, sorry. Yeah. Boomer. That I'm going to do something to double this movement, triple this movement. So I'm doing that. And that happens all this week. So good to see you, Golden State fan. You know, and by the way, you know, when we double or triple the movement, we'll, we'll shed all of these trolls who this is what <laughs> they like enjoy doing. No, I'm sorry, Chili, because um, this, you know, hold on. Do I have a banner? Well, I don't need to. I may, I'm, I'm making you a message right now. This is my e-card to you, Chili. Sorry, you lost. Uh, talking about doubling and tripling things, you had 200 people watching you maybe 15 minutes ago. I have over 2,100. How many? Is, that's not double or triple. What is that? I'm, it's like I'm 10 times. Mad. I think it's 10 times. Oh, yeah, Chili. I think it's 10 times the amount of people that watch you. That's no, it's 100 times, isn't it? From 20? Yeah, it's 100 oh, times. He's butthurt because he hundred times. I'm sorry. You. See, I told, you, I told you I wasn't good at math. Yeah, so you're doing really well advancing your bowel movement, uh, Chili. Really good. Good, <laughs> good job. Good job. Well, don't forget, we all What's have up, 10 films. Yeah, yeah. So just so you guys know, you know, it doesn't stop me from doing what I'm doing, you know. Unfortunately, you know, it's just weird. It's just creepy and weird. 
I mean, it really, really is. It's creepy and weird. Dude, he's a fucking toddler. <laughs> he just wants to <laughs> Well, he was getting text messages. You can hear his phone in the background pinging. It is, it is creepy, and it is it is creepy and weird that that people enjoy doing these weird things to other people. It's it's weird. It's strange. I don't understand it's creepy it. Creepy but... and weird that you stage that Nutella incident. <sighs> Wait, we gotta get there. Hold on, one step at a time. It doesn't change anything. Time. We keep going down the road. Remember, the reason why most people came to this channel is because of what I do with education and what I do with cops and the ideas that I No. no. <laughs> There's so much to unpack there. No. Yeah. No, Chili. You're incorrect. That's not why people. Hi, honey. That's that's not why people watch you, honey. No, no, no. <laughs> they watch you because you're a train wreck. Like same reason they watch this channel. Everybody loves a good train wreck, Chili. Like just come to turn. Oh my God. I love it. This is like, you can just watch him soothing his narcissistic injury in real time, right? In front of like, you should do this privately. This is my advice to you. I, I Honestly, can we start a campaign to make me Chili's PR agent? <laughs> can you be his life coach? I was his PR really agent it. though. <laughs> no, no, no. He, I think, it, so his, his, his reputation and his ego really taking a bruising and a battering here, you know, I don't, you know, I'm such a huge fan of his that I don't really like to see him in so much pain and distress. And, um, you know, for a trash bag that lost two of her kids and got arrested for siphoning gas and sex traffics everything that moves, such as myself, Chili, my <laughs> reputation seems to be immeasurably beyond what yours is. So I would say that, like, when, when it comes to reputations, I probably know more about how to keep a good reputation than you do. I would like to share that knowledge with you. I am also a teacher of sorts, Chili. So let me be your PR agent. I'm going to, uh, we got 2,128 people in the chat. I feel like, you know, we can get together and just really make a campaign to make me Chili's PR agent. And I'm yes. going to give you free advice yes. to start, Chili, because I'm not going to charge you that much. I mean, like, listen, I, uh, I'm not going to work for free. I'm like a fax machine. I work on paper. You know what I mean, Chili? <laughs> but I'll, I'll give you a good, I'll give you a good break here. Like, you know, I'll, I'll work out a good deal, but I'll give you some advice for free. When you are melting down like this and you're really just trying to soothe that paper thin bruised ego of yours, you should just call a friend. I know that you don't have any friends. So maybe call your mom who she also doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, just so talk to Charlie. Might. Just, no, wait, Charlie doesn't want to talk to you. Who probably will uh, run away. Just yeah, pray to the lost to minivan. Talk, talk to your to yourself. There's a lot of faces there. You can almost feel like it's meaningful, uh, you know, personal contact with people. Uh, they're kind of looking at you the eyes. That guy over there looks, his eyes are real big. But I mean, you'll have some, talk to your poster. Don't do this on the internet. Because like, you're just showing weakness, Chili. And I know that's pretty much all you have to show, but it's a bad look. So don't do this you're just. Terrible You're giving the trolls more fuel, bud. Like, just stop. Yeah. Do less. Well, that's just that he has zero self-awareness. I mean, he thinks that he believes the bullshit he puts down, I think. I don't know. His ego is easier to bruise than a banana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to help yeah, just him. Just like, long like, enough. Like, right, what you're doing right here is not a good look. It's just do this privately. No. Don't do this publicly. No, it's not. It's not. That I have. If you keep doing it, I appreciate it because, like, you know, I'm getting a shit ton of content and amusement out of it. But unselfishly, I want to help your image. I want to be your PR agent for the low price of uh, nine hundred dollars an hour. To change this country <laughs> to a more humane, constitutional country, and that's that's what I offer, and that's that's what I'm just going to continue to do. <laughs> this sucks, of course. Pinky. It sucks losing. It absolutely sucks, you know. But um. <laughs> It doesn't change anything. Remember, you know, um, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but instead of the pouring plan one out here, chili, you know, I leave pinkies Denver. Up. I'm, I'm leaving Denver. Like I'm, I'm packed up. I'm out. Right. Take things off the wall. I'm leaving. Right. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to be, I mean, to get this movement to double over the next three months, I'm going to be really, really Can you pause busy. for a second? Ms. So Pete, I have a question. I'm just not going to have a lot of time, you know, I'm. Yes. He, I, I'm, I'm just a general question. He keeps mentioning over the next three months how he's going to double everything and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't that sound like things you'd say to someone like investing in your channel? Like, nope, we're going to, yeah. we're going to get more people. We're going to pivot. Okay. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Dave, yeah. Dr. Dave might be able to help him. 
can I make? Can no, I no, 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 no. I see what I see what she's putting down. I see what she's putting down here. Yeah, I, I do think too. we're gonna earmark. You smell what I'm stepping in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he lost the courtroom. How does he expect to double or triple when he can't even keep a courtroom full of people on his yeah, side? Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, he has. He literally doesn't realize people are laughing at him, not with him. And we've said that no, a million he times. Knows. He wholeheartedly fucking knows. That's why he's mad. But let's think so? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just not going to have a lot of time. You know, so I'm going to be super busy. So, you know, this is definitely disappointing for sure. It sucks for sure, you know. Um, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, um, uh, moderators, you guys can do whatever you want with the trolls. We'll, we can start to block the trolls again. There's no point in keeping them around. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can. I said it. I, what did I say it two nights ago? This is his cycle. He unblocks all the trolls because he needs the engagement. And <laughs> then he gets super triggered. Don't get triggered, Jake. Jake he gets, he gets super triggered. Calm down, Jake. And he has to block them all again. It's 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 cycle. It's you could set a watch to it at this point. Yeah. Like, would you say it's like every twenty eight days? Block them. Per- oh, really? About every three to four. Okay. Permanently or time them out, I really don't care because remember these these people, they 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 get off on on this kind of strange thing you know and bruce and yum and Ooh, we get here, off on it you know we got to get back to mission and and i'll be honest you know i talked to uh zayner yesterday and zayner's got this chick she's he's you know he's suing this chick and you know the federal tort lawsuit listen it's gonna it's gonna come so around. now zane is is, is uh what doing me suing you is that what he was trying to give you in court allegedly all right no Okay, let, no. so let's, I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell the court story now is what I'm gonna do honestly because this is probably a good time because he's like listening to a lie is actually annoying me. So this is what happened. All right, so we get to court and we go um, and we get called pretty quickly and for whatever reason the judge calls both me and Josh together, which I was not anticipating because in the past where I've had these uh, so. Let me back up and explain that Turtle Boy. It was the, it was the that same did. petitioner. That's why. No, no, no. Listen, that's what I was trying to say. In the past, I've had this happen before where I've had a quote unquote co defend, not really code, but uh, somebody goes in and takes a court order out, or, I mean, a harassment order out on both myself and another party and, and claims that it's because we're connected, blah, blah, blah. So Turtle Boy is. Uh, hands down one of the worst abusers of harassment prevention order uh, prevention orders imaginable if you piss him off he wants you want you know to shut you up you have information that he doesn't want to get out he'll go to do a harassment prevention order so when i first found out about one of his first affairs with leage and do so um aiden responded by trying to place a harassment or a protection order on both myself and leah so, so we both had the same court date but they didn't call us together they called her and then they went to call me and he said never mind i'm dropping it because he's an asshole and he just was doing it you know to, but they uh, had an intimate relationship it. it wasn't the same type of relationship it does, it does, right? i don't think it matters honestly. i think it's probably discretionary is what i'm saying but uh, i wasn't expecting it so i'm sure there's some discretion yeah. to do that or not do that i just i haven't seen that before right because either I way chili was gonna ball the two cases together anyway Right, right. Well, that's what he did. So so they call us up and, um, you know, the judge right off the bat is like, look, I understand that there's a ton of people in Zoom right now that have an interest in this case. And I think it was something like 200, 300 people, right? Oh, yeah, like a little over 200 at one point. Yeah, right, right, right. So like there's a shit ton of people in the Zoom overwhelming this small courthouse and the judge lays it right down and says, look, I know there's a lot of people interested in the outcome of this case. So she already knew the deal. Uh, You know, don't record. She put a very firm order down. Do not record. Um, Do not interrupt like and you'll be good. It's a public forum. Uh, We think that Chili recorded, but that's neither here nor there. So right off the bat. So Chili goes into this entire, uh, you know, she goes, let's start with Josh Abrams. Tell me why. You need to get an order on Josh Abrams. So Chili goes off on a tangent. And of course, he goes back to the parade and how, um, you know, he's claiming that Josh gave 
um, his location to me so that I could go confront him at the parade, which we know is a lie. He was live streaming, live streaming himself. That's how I knew he was there. Like, you know, just, and, and he goes, but he can't stop talking about me. Right. So every time that he's talking about Josh, he's going back and saying pretty much like, and Kate did this and Kate did that. And she has to keep going. Wait a minute. I told you to just focus on Josh Abrams. Like, why are you talking about she and her? Right. So it goes on. Um, and he makes some very interesting allegations against Abrams that Abrams and I were apparently in a car together, uh, driving around looking for him, which never happened. Um, he was very upset that Abrams, when he was driving around live streaming, saying he was looking for Chili, that he uh, solicited donations, even though that's not harassment. And the judge keeps having to reroute him because he's just going around in fucking circles, right? And she has to be like, I can barely understand what you're saying. Like, please be clear. How is this harassment? He, he just keeps going back to me. So Josh goes up and he explains that like, no, you know, he's never threatened Chili. Chili's actually threatened him he didn't give out the location with the live stream i mean with the parade he was live streaming it you know the entire reason that he was going around looking for him is because he kept saying that he was going to serve josh josh was going to go mm -hmm. accept service he knew where chili was because he was live streaming and the judge didn't miss that point she kept saying to, to chili so you're not being stalked if you're live streaming your location like you understand that right and he's like no <laughs> like, <laughs> just ridiculous no yeah, I mean, like, you know, I, I wish that we could just play it, but I know that that would not be, uh, that would, you know, wouldn't be a lot of propriety in that. Um, but would it? Yeah. Well, no, I just, I don't, I, 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 like I said, the judge was very, very I know. on it. And it was, yeah. and this was in particular one of the more disruptive uh, court proceedings that I've, that I've unfortunately had to be a part of. It was just ridiculous, particularly because at least at Woburn district court, there were like three other people there, right? Which is still three too many to really, you know, delay whatever they have going on in the court system um, on some bullshit. But there were like, I mean, we're talking a packed courtroom. There were a ton of people that needed to be heard on some pretty serious things. You know, people that were downstairs in the jail, uh, you know, waiting to see whether or not they were going to get out. People who were on arraignments, people who were, you know, trying to just get on with whatever, you know, pretrial phase there, their criminal case and get on with their days. Actual harassment orders and restraining orders against actual parties that actually need it, not some internet fucking drama. It was pretty fucking ridiculous that we tied up, I believe it was almost an hour, right? 40, from 45, to finish? Yeah, 45 yeah. minutes. A 45 minute hearing because Chili DeCastro got his feelings hurt. Just fucking th you know, take that and, and digest it real quick. 45 minutes tying up a court because Chili has his feelings hurt. And that's what happened. You're a constitutional law scholar, everyone. So at one point, um, Chili starts saying, well, my assistant is coming with my evidence. I need to show my evidence. I have sworn statements. The judge is like, no, your sworn statements are, you know, hearsay. I don't have them in front of me. I'm not considering them. So who walks in the door but his friend Zane Kane? Okay. Now, for anyone who isn't keeping up at home, <laughs> I have a court date with Zane Kane on the 26th because Zane Kane first went to New Hampshire, filed for a stalking prevention order there, was denied the um, you know emergency order, and they put it on for a hearing. Not satisfied with that, um, Chile, I'm presuming, sent Zane all the way to fucking Boston to go apply for an order there, which was granted on an emergency basis. And let me tell you, um, the allegations made in the affidavit to get that order, it literally... <laughs> blows my mind that it was granted at all. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the court. I'm certainly not a judge or an attorney. I can't say that I understand all the nuances of the law and all the rules of procedure and, you know, every, but, but I understand more or less what is or is not harassment on a pretty, pretty solid basis. You know, there might be some, uh, some fringe, uh, you know, fringe things that I don't fully understand, or, you know, maybe I don't always know right where the line is, but I know that what Zane Kane was describing does not cross the line in any reality. And the few things that he alleged that would maybe cross the line legitimately definitely never happened. Like I'm calling it right now, much yep. like we're going to hear from Chile in a while. He claims that I went to Denver and put dog shit on his doorstep 
and uh, broke his door handle and left a note on the door that said, Kate always wins. Like, start to finish, you watch the video that Chili made about it. He faked it. Like, I'm calling it right now. Fucking sue yeah. me over it, Chili, because I know that you did. And any judge or jury is going to agree with me. When we when we watch your video, the almost 2,200 people in here now definitely will agree with me. You made that shit up, you grimy, dishonest, con artist piece of fucking shit. Never in my life would I ever fake evidence and bring it to a fucking court? I wouldn't even fake evidence on you to do my YouTube show. Let's be clear. I am honest. You are not an honest person, Chili. You are a terrible person for that. But he absolutely faked that. And so the allegations, one in particular on Zane's, um, I am 95% certain they also got together and faked as well. And I will do my best to prove that you know, as much as I can. I don't think it's going to go very far with a judge, especially now. Oh, Jake, you got your squeaky dildo. Thank God. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you. I get it. Yep. Um, I, we need to get a studio spacious. I know. <laughs> well, now that the judge I shot can't... down all the Chili's bullshit, that takes care of most of that bullshit too. Well, yeah. So anyway, as I'm saying, like, so Zane's, I believe, will definitely have grounds to uh, not extend because who walks in the fucking courtroom but Zane? Zane, who managed to get an active temporary harassment prevention order, which bars me from being, I believe it was like 500 yards from him, maybe a thousand, right? Um, he walks in within 500 yards of me of his own volition at a venue that I had to be at and he didn't. And I, I told the judge this, I'm like, look, like, this is ridiculous. Like he, you know, he's having his friends now bury me in paperwork. The man over there that you had to tell to stop disrupting court, the guy in the sunglasses right there got an active order on me and has now came here. It's preposterous for these men to allege that they're afraid of me. If you're afraid of someone, if you need protection from the court, you don't knowingly and willingly show up to where the fuck they're going to be. And then to make matters worse, Zane made the court officials, the court officers so uncomfortable that they actually took me and whisked me away from the courtroom downstairs and out the back door because they were worried he was going to do something where then he put that hoodie was on. It was the weirdest us. thing. Right. He puts on a hoodie and, and he walks out the door and he stands outside the courthouse on the side and right where the door where we came out and he was waiting for us. And he sat there staring at us while we're trying to figure out if it's safe for me to walk to my car or if I need to take a ride from somebody. And yes, we have that on camera. Can I make a point game. about Zane? Mm -hmm. Can I make a point about Zane? I had no idea who this guy was when he walked into the courtroom. But he has a presence, and that presence isn't good. I mean, it, it, it's, he's, if, if you want to be granola about it, he has, a, in my opinion, a dark aura. He has black hair, black beard, black mustache, black glasses, and he just was oppressive when he walked in so his antics in the courtroom i mean ad that added extra fuel to it because it was creepy i mean he's creepy he's very creepy Ooh. it did feel like mvp uh like vip status though getting rushed out the basement of the courthouse <laughs> right i mean that's what i mean like you know literally that is how bad shit their behavior is that like strangers that have nothing to do with it literally just observing for 45 minutes are like yeah you better go out the back door look jeff hart said it that's what i said I, he looked like the unabomber in court dead ass i was like he, he was gonna kill everybody he was just so creepy and weird hold on i'm gonna play more chili's video for a minute because jake is losing his mind I don't know why. <laughs> can you speed it up Around. No, Irish, it's you're not creepy. Around. It's going to come around. Um, and uh, you're not a creepy, playboy. There you go, Trent. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Have a heyday, Trent. You can you can block them all permanently. I really don't care. I don't care. They they hate watch me anyway. They watch me on the they watch me on backup channels. Hey, Les, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you guys. This doesn't change anything. It doesn't it doesn't change anything. What it actually does, to be honest, for the people who came here because of my you know knowledge and because of my ability and stuff like that, um, this actually will the people who came here for what I offer. You'll, you actually will appreciate this now because now we get more back to 
submission, you know, because I'm not going to have any extra time. I don't think you guys understand the schedule I created for myself, November, uh, uh, October, November, December. I created a schedule for myself that is just, it's going to be a hard schedule. This is going to be a taxing schedule, but you know, am I disappointed? Sure. I am. You know, I mean, but if you guys watch the court, I begged her to call my witness. I begged her to introduce my evidence. She listened to their stories, whatever story they told, and then said, okay, <laughs> I mean, that was, that was, I mean, or your evidence and statements were bullshit, <sighs> sir. But at the end of the day, remember, these these people, they're not going to be able to stop what I'm doing next. You know, these people are not going to be able to stop. They're, they won't be able to stop what I'm doing next. They're not going to be able to stop me. They can't stop Bro, me. Bro, you just said they, that two days ago. How did it me. work out? <laughs> you, can't, you can't stop me. You, you, you can't stop greatness. And I will not stop because I know inside of me is greatness to lead and get us to a level that is based on justice and righteousness and truth and transparency. And so it's like, you know. Look what happened in court. Yeah, okay. You wonder why the prison industry is like this. The judge didn't see any evidence. She didn't look at any evidence. She didn't look at anything I, I created. She didn't look at any of the evidence. She didn't listen to a witness. She didn't read any affidavit. She just said, I listened to your story. I listened to your story. Okay, I believe the two people in front of me and the guy on the camera is wrong. Yeah. You were yep, pissing yep, yep. off the judge. Yep, 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 yep. So listen, he you know, maybe, maybe now judge. that I've lost and I'm beaten, maybe all the trolls will go away now. You guys won. You guys have beaten nope. me. I I am just beaten. I'm beaten. I can't. I can't. I'm just beaten. Beaten. Beating. 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 No, he's he's, beat, he's beaten. Is what he's saying. He's beaten, and that's fine. But I mean, the, the fact of the matter is that, um, you know, I I we, we literally he's beaten every day. Yes, sweetie, that smells delicious. It's good soap. Good. good Love breakfast. how he just rolls stop. over on his belly. I'm beaten, Kate. Please stop. Right, but I mean, like, literally, he's like, maybe go <laughs> stop now that now that they get away. Like, we've been getting wins this entire time, Chili. Like, pretty much every time that I wake up in the morning, and then you wake up probably six to seven hours later. Like, I've already won. Done more with my day. Never stop winning. <laughs> Not with you. You know, I I lost I I lost everything. You know, I. I lost that uh, harassment protection order. So everything about me is now lost. You guys should quickly just go do something else. No. <laughs> oh, that What's up? Here's the thing. Here's the thing though. Like I probably would have gotten bored with this guy a long time ago because like I generally will like find a lol cow and be fascinated with their mannerisms and every all the content they put out uh, for, you know, a month or two maybe. And then I kind of move on to the next thing. And there's a couple that will keep popping back up because I just find them absolutely fascinating. And Chili's fascinating. He had a pretty long shelf life with this anyway, obviously, because like he literally can't stop being just comically inept at everything. OK, but it would have gotten stale. What Chili has done now, though, is he's essentially said, like, I'm going to force you to stop talking about me. I am stubborn. That is going to ensure that I will continue to talk about you just so that we're clear. I really don't like bullies. I really, really, really don't like somebody trying to forcibly, uh, you know, impose their will on me. It does not work out the way that you want it to. So, like, if Chili's true intention was to try to get me to shut the fuck up by hitting me with these flurries of paperwork, like, no, game on, bitch. I'm not gonna, I, like, I'm not gonna bow down to this paper terrorism. I'm not. Hell yeah. Zen, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Dwayne. How are you, dude? Yeah, listen, we're not gonna stop. It's, this has nothing, you guys, listen, this, they, <laughs> They wanted to distract me and they did. And now, you know, maybe, maybe I just need to focus just on what we're doing here. Just on what we're doing. Just, just do that. No one wanted to distract you. You're the one that started the lawsuits. Yep. Just carry on. I really on, think dude. it's because he threatened just lawsuits on. on TikTok and now he felt like he had to follow through. Yeah. No, I think it's yeah, okay. I mean, it was, like you it was, said. Uh, it was gross. I mean, it was gross. The, the, you know, Kate played up that, you know, she's a woman and it was just, it was really, really, it was really bad. And then Josh got up. <laughs> you, you were a woman, you were therefore you played leader. it up. You right, said you were a national a leader woman. and I had to stifle a laugh in, um, in open court because he said he was a national leader and that was so preposterous and ridiculous. It's not, you know, it was funny. <laughs> And honestly, I didn't play up that I was a woman. I pointed out that Chili is going at me harder than he is anybody else in this. And I know that it's because I'm female and I'm better than him. And he can't fucking stand that. He can't stand being, you know, um, 
uh, like showed up by a woman. He can't stand that he has tried to bully me as a female numerous times. And I just absolutely refuse to back down to his bullying. He thinks that I'm a woman and I should be subservient. And he has a clear disdain. He is a misogynist. He is literally an incel as far as I'm concerned. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Did he say what he was a national leader of? No, no, he didn't say he was a national leader. He said he was a national figure. He said that he has oh, become okay. a national figure because of his lessons in history and constitutional law. Well, well, the same, the well, the same question. Leader. National leader of what? Objection, yeah. perjury. <laughs> <laughs> I well, that's also the reason... That's also the reason he pissed off the um, judge because he was condescending to her and treating her like he probably wouldn't treat a male judge. He was very yeah. rude and short with her. I don't know. He, he's been quite condescending to male judges too. I can say that. Honestly, when I saw that it was a young, uh, well put together female African American judge, I was like, oh my <laughs> God. Here we fucking go. Because the, the the margin of error to where it becomes something that is just so cringe that it's not even entertaining was so slim. You know what I mean? Like one wrong move and Shelly could have been telling her, you know, that she needs to remember that she's black. And she, you know, I could just oh, no. imagine all when the he things started talking about it. He was in front of his poster and he was like, I made this poster about lynchings and imprisonment in America and blah, blah, blah. He was trying to like pander to her and she was like, oh, okay, like, what does that have to yeah. do with me? I will say he did try to go to the black route almost. Um, and he kind of is a national figure. I mean, look, we have 2,200 people watching us right now from all over the U.S. and the world. So, I mean, he is a national figure. I just know that Talib Kweli loves him. You're muted, Kate. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I know I'm muted. Sorry, okay. I'm my daughter. Yeah. About there, I said, well, you know, here's what I did, and he just, it was just a, a but they didn't look at any evidence. They, they, they didn't, they, they didn't look at any evidence. You know, they didn't, there was no evidence. They didn't <clears throat> accept any evidence. They didn't look at any evidence, and they didn't let me call any witnesses. So I don't really know how that's a, a fair trial. I don't know how that's fair. You heard one story and you heard another story. You said, okay, I, I believe these two people over this guy. And that's, it was just an embarrassment. That's because you couldn't articulate it. And I, and I, I put together the evidence and, and they, and the judge didn't look at it. No, honestly, it's not because he could, I mean, he couldn't articulate it. That's accurate. But the fact of the matter was that he was making statements that were preposterous and contradictory mm -hmm. and, um, you know, literally. And they're know, relevant. Obvious. Right. And and again, like his behavior in the courtroom, I think was very clear, you know, who was telling the truth. And he was making, you know, these wild statements that there was no way. He, he literally said at one point he goes, you know, she physically stalked me to my Airbnb in Denver. And I was like, <laughs> uh, OK, so here are the last three months of my location history printed out. I can give it to the court for consideration, but I'd really prefer that it not get shared with the plaintiff, even though I know that's usually how evidence works because I don't want this guy to know where I go every day. And she was like, I don't need to see it, right? Because at that point, even the fact that I'm saying like, I have it, right? Like I can disprove all your statements. He didn't even bring up the mass calling allegation. I think he finally realized that that is bullshit that no one's going to believe. But had he, I had a stack of papers like this that was my call logs for the last three months, which is literally just shiz, my daughter, my son, and my mom in that order of volume. Like, that's it. That's all I fucking <laughs> talked about. Literally. Well, at one point, I mean, the, the judge wasn't even finished talking to Josh yet. And the judge was so fed up. She's like, you're so desperate to talk about Miss Peter. Let's go ahead and bring her up first. Well, and she wanted to hear your side of it all of a sudden. And right. she wasn't even done with Josh yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, she was. She, I think she knew right off the bat as soon as Josh started talking, like, what, what the deal yeah. was. Can I just say that you're still 100% for pause for screens? <laughs> yeah, was... yeah, I mean, like, there's no bad pause screens. They're all ridiculous. Definitely a kangaroo court. And, you know, I was, you know, I've been up working my butt off all week putting that evidence together and the judge didn't even look at it it was just pathetic kate can you pause it real quick i'm sorry it's like he aced his test and his dad didn't say attaboy and he's all disappointed that's exactly what it was well especially the video hey guys no doxing in the chat please um what you know it's the doxed. one rule yeah um what do you mean by doxed i'll put it in private chat I guarantee I that it's probably not an actual docs. 
No, it is. Are you being sensitive, Harry Vagin? Yeah, I am being very sensitive. Okay. All right, next time we just time them out. We probably don't have to stop the whole thing for that, though. No, I just, but yeah, I don't want to talk over the video. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know. So listen, I'm, I got to get out of here. I'm, I'm going somewhere else. I'm not staying here in Denver. I'm going somewhere else. And, uh, and then the really hard work begins because this next venture is, is uh, the next, the way, the way that we double our following, triple our following, where we get 500,000 or a million subscribers, you know, it's going to require a oh lot of Oh my God, who's from, eating? It's going to require Yeah, you can't do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay focused on the work and I'm going to create the board game for so you can teach your kids history like real history that's what i'm gonna do so um thanks for the super chat appreciate it man um so that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna work on as i'm gonna work on i'm gonna work on that and i'm just gonna stay super duper focused on it because you know these people they'll 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 just keep on trying to to find some reason to be horrible I mean, remember, you know, you have to you have to buy into hate. You have to buy into being a hate monger. You have to buy into hating other people. And 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 I just don't, you know, I don't hate, you know, as much as I don't like these two people, you know, I I don't want to be full of hate. So maybe this will give me a chance to push away from them and get the love back. Cause you know, when I watched their videos, I had to watch all their videos for the lawsuits and stuff like that. But it was it's just like so negative and such a downer. And there's there's no mission and there's no sense of purpose in it. And it's just discouraging and it makes you feel bad to be honest, you know, makes, makes my heart, I can feel the pressure in my eyes from my high blood pressure. And it's just like, um, it's just, it's just so crazy. It's, you know, the way it makes, so I spent the last week putting the evidence package together, you know, um, Oh, all the evidence was excluded, dude. They, they didn't see a single bit of evidence, you know, they didn't, they didn't see any evidence at all whatsoever. So, you know, if you don't see any evidence whatsoever, then how could it we possibly admissible. have a fair trial? If you don't look at any evidence, um, then. I also want to point out that he keeps demanding a fair trial. This wasn't a trial. This was a hearing. <laughs> it was a hearing. <laughs> Calm down, OJ Simpson. You know, what are you going to do? Gonna be like, She's no saying I'm a murderer. If you're not going to look at the evidence that I put together to show you, then you're just going to listen to someone, you know, did you rob that place? No, I did not rob the place. You know, he broke into my house. No, no, I didn't break into his house. I promise it wasn't me. And the, so the, the judge says, okay. It's not even comparable. Cool. 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 <laughs> so, you know, oh, maybe this was a, a blessing in disguise, you know? I mean, maybe I'll put the video out that I put on my, you know, it's just, yeah. So he's going to, he's about to show his evidence. This is the evidence. Oh. And um, I just want to watch this quietly. So if we can not talk over it, that would be spectacular so that we could really take in what he considered to be uh, slam dunk viable court evidence, uh, this miscarriage of justice that the judge did not allow it to be admitted. And then we could talk about it. That was pretty bad, man. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty bad, you know, and listen, we're not going to stop. You guys, you guys know that, right? Uh, <laughs> This only brings me right back to focus. This brings me just more because because remember now I'm out of time. Now now I'm completely out of time. I see you, Deanna. Good to Deanna Chera Moore. Good to see you. Good to see you, Hamzi. Hey, Hamzi. Now you know we got to get right back to mission. So um, I'm gonna go into um, I'm gonna go into serious work mode over the next. Uh, three months because I don't have a choice. I have to just, I have to work my butt off over the next few months. So I don't have much of a choice, you know? <sighs> hey, Gloria, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, Zen, how are you? Hey, Dwayne, thanks, man. Yeah. Yep. The real, the real hate mongers, you know, I, I'm just going to exit them, you know? It is what it is. You, if you see a real hate monger, you know who they are. You know, just just send them. We don't need their distraction because now we're going to move forward. I, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm super. I'm super. You know, 
Rebecca's Dirty South Cats, who's 100% of troll. But you know, you look tired. Dude, I am tired. I was up until five o'clock in the morning getting the package sent over to Zayner to get uh, the package in to the court. And then she just, she wouldn't even see the evidence. So. And right there, he's complaining again about this evidence, this evidence. Like, why were you up until five o'clock in the morning, the day of this hearing? Like, that's just, again, like, you know, you didn't even have that many accusations to prove. Um, you, you really just had to prove that I physically stalked you. Later on, he tried to throw, you know, this this dog shit thing in there. A police report would have been would have been good, Chili, particularly one where the police found that I was, you know, responsible for what you're claiming I am. But you can't produce that because you made it up. So... <sighs> You know, if, 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 if she, if she won't see the evidence, um, you know, yeah. Uh, do you want to see, sure, 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 sure. I'll show it to you guys. Sure. Let's, let's, here we go. let, Let me show you guys the video. Let me show you guys the video that no, I, I really can't because. Uh, no, no, I can. I can. I can show you guys this video real quick. So, so here's the here's the video that I made for the judge that she didn't watch. Like, there's there's. So let me go like this. Quick time player. Okay, so here's the here's the evidence package that I put together to show the judge what this chick's been doing, and uh, she didn't even look at it. So here it is. Let me turn my lights off here so you guys can see the screen a little bit better here. Let me kill these lights. I'll show you guys the. I mean, this is what I had for the judge. So, but the judge didn't see it. So. I'm so excited for this. Doesn't look at the evidence. Well, then how are you how are you going to get a fair trial? <laughs> Can't really get a fair trial, can you? If the judge doesn't look at the evidence, I mean, how do you get a fair trial? If 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 the judge doesn't look at the evidence, how in the world can you get a fair trial? You really can't. So here's the here. Here's the video that shows that Kate is absolutely just crazy and what a stalker she is. But 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 watch and listen and, and listen to what she says here. You have no idea how invasive the Internet can be, Chili. Like, really, honestly, you should really smart now. Chuck in Illinois, $10 for the cause. Thank you. I don't know what the cause is, but I appreciate it. Really, we're just trolling here. We're just messing around. It's fun. I filed a harassment protection order against Kate and I filed a federal tort lawsuit. Is this still fun, Kate? Are you having a good time? Do people think this is fun to track me and put dog shit on my doorstep and all those things? Do you guys think this is fun? Just a conduit hoping that Chili will understand. Like, if you don't like the position that you're in right now, like it's time to close down YouTube. I don't, I'm not telling you to do that. I don't even know. So if I don't want her to harass me and stalk me and and try to and put fear in me, then I have to close my YouTube account. I you do that. I love the content that this guy provides. Like I, it's genuinely entertaining to me. Like the best sitcom that's ever existed. But if he doesn't like this, like he needs to shut because he's a lol cow. This is what's going to happen. There's going to be nothing but throngs of again. Look up Ice Poseidon. Look up Chris Chan. Look up Cyrax. You know you've talked to Cyrax. Really look at what Cyrax is though. Because those are your peers now. Like that is where you've put yourself. So, like, no matter what, what a nutball. Shut down tomorrow, chili. This chick is such a nutball. And there's going to be ten more behind me. She's so crazy. Because you're a troll magnet. You are a lol cow. You are being milked for others' enjoyment. I can't stop it. I can't help it. I can't help you. If I could, for your own mental sanity, at this point, I would. I would be like, guys, like, you know, cut, you know, kind of. Push the brakes here, but I have no control over it. Nobody does. Like She's the only person Ill. I have control over this is Chili. He needs to either shut his shit down or do nothing but like stream from a fixed location where you can't see where he is. See, right? I, I put then the, at least you don't have to worry about people fucking pulling these pranks. See, everything's in there. I put everything, and then she says you don't have to worry about these people pulling these pranks on you in public, and then it goes right into the prank she pulls. Well, yeah, and that's what he was doing essentially. Is like you know he kind of 
semi covertly slides into Massachusetts. And of course, I've got people in my Discord server that, that are tracking him like an endangered great white. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> watching his every move. And for a guy that this is, is that's this paranoid, like I honestly I don't do a lot of that filming out in public. That was like the most frustrating part to me. It's like it's like I'm trying to film, but I also want to interact with the guy. Yeah, I was so amped up when I came in. Like, they're going to tell me in a minute that I'm shaking like leaf. Like, I full disclosure, I absolutely was. Driving there was like white knuckle. I feel like everybody was going like 10 miles under the speed limit. I was like, I'm going to lose these people. Like, I'm literally on Discord going, all right, 10 minutes. And they're like, nope, they're still there. I'm like, all right, five minutes. Nope, they're still there. I was convinced because he's so squirrely. He's so paranoid, right? I don't often race. I yeah, I'm paranoid as you're tracking my location, checking in to stalk me. And I'm paranoid though, but you're actually stalking me, but I'm paranoid. Okay. A couple towns away to meet a uh, <laughs> fucking cokehead in Sally Jeffio, you know, glasses. Um, it's just not, not something I do that often. And I definitely don't usually film like out. In, it's just not something I do. I stream from home mm -hmm. the when we have the studio, the studio. So I was pretty amped up. I could see him doing it vindictively because he's using the idea of this protective order as a threat and it's going to take down my channel and he's going to get me this time and I, I I better feel lucky that there's rule of law or he'd beat the shit out of me again. I better feel lucky that there's rule of law or he'd beat the shit out of me again. Because the, the way where I parked, right, there was like, there was no way that they were leaving without some sort of confrontation. That's not even your car. Sorry, yeah, I had to actually pause that and, and, and go back because he literally in this, this is how disingenuous this is. I don't even know where that is or whose car that is, but uh, that's not his car. His van's nowhere to be seen. That's not my car. I drive a white Toyota Corolla. He knows this because he was filming my license plate. Um, not this court hearing, but the last one in West Roxbury that he inserted himself into. So he's literally taken a picture of somebody, a picture of somebody's parked in a driveway randomly and trying to say that that's me that's so dishonest and so easily disproven um like i mean again are they really going to get you on perjury no but is that per yeah like you're lying under oath right there right there that's not my i can't law. believe he transcribed my giggle me again because the way where i parked right there was like there was no way that they were leaving without some sort of confrontation so dallas if someone if someone continually runs into me i can push them and so what he's done there too is he's clipped so he literally went from the way i parked and then cuts it and then goes there's no way they're leaving without confrontation i parked at the parade at the police station probably at least half a mile from whatever direction Chili and, and Josh were walking to when they were leaving. Completely different, like literally right in front of the police station. There's probably camera footage of my car the whole time there. I did that for my own personal safety. So like, right, like he, this is, is evidence. What he was up till five o'clock in the morning doing was clipping things out of context, cobbling them together, taking a picture of somebody else's fucking car and trying to act like I blocked him in. That's like, if you need to lie to try to win a case, you have no case, Chili. You are a pathological liar. And I say that with all seriousness. Add it to your complaint. I look forward to the amended complaint. You are a pathological, habitual, congenital liar. That's what you are. Away from me. Yeah, you have, you have a right to push, you know, get someone away from you. But it's like, literally, he's telling me to get away from him. I was just baiting him into another cut. illustrating what another a cut. tyrant he is. I went there with the understanding that there was probably going to be an issue, and I sought that out. Did he push <laughs> you? Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they added in that super chat there that November 1 4 said, <laughs> Where my Netflix More contract. money he's owed, Kate. He's owed that money. Oh, I made it, it in the that video. Anything. Literally has nothing to do. That's apparently harassment too. I thought it Rolling wasn't cases I've ever seen, like uh, you know, Dragon Lord um, or Chris Chan, or you know, so, like you know, so you have no idea how invasive the internet can be, Chili. Like really. Okay, so again, he says I'm listing my victims just so that we're clear. Uh, Draken Lord is a lol cow from fucking Germany. I, like I'm not listing victims, you literal mentally handicapped individual. You, like I was saying that I've seen cases where people have been trolled far beyond what Chili has been trolled, and that he should feel 
um, lucky that he hasn't landed in those people's hands yet, but he can if he continues it because he's literally a lol cow. He is a troll magnet. That is, This is what's going to happen to him. I see him by that statement. I don't want Chili to take down his YouTube channel. I enjoy the content. It's great for my channel. It's, we're all having a good time here. It's fucking hilarious. I have so many good stories to tell my friends, family, and coworkers all the time about this guy. Yeah, it's great content. Right. Yeah, exactly. Cat. Like he's Kat, that's my exact saying, reaction. I was like, this fucking guy. <laughs> right. I'm responsible for Chris Chan too now. You made him sleep with his mother. <laughs> you you time now. traveled. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. You should really smarten up. No fucking way. No fucking way. Okay. Charlie. Charlie, 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 come here. Wait, was it on his hand? Look. Yeah, but I want, like, I'm going to break this down. Like, this is I, did, I didn't know if it was a shadow or not. No, no. Such transparent bullshit. I want you to look at, no, he told the judge that this was dog shit on his hand. Just keep that in mind. But look at his hand. We're going to break this down as it goes along. Okay. All right. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Wait for it. Yeah, yeah, he had sound effects to this. This is ridiculous. Now I want this note, right? Is on the inside of the glass of the door, right? Um, the handwriting looks conspicuously like Chili's handwriting, right? Um, it means nothing at all. Uh, it looks like it's on a greeting card, so he couldn't even be bothered to like get a piece of paper before he fabricated this. Uh, real convenient, real convenient, Chili. And again, Chili, that's not your address because you're homeless. You don't have an address. That's the address on the police report from the time that you get your own van stolen because you're a fucking idiot. But uh, it's like, public no, information. No right, right. If anything, the po the police put your address out there. Go sue them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! This is for a judge. <laughs> Um, excuse me. I have a it's toddler chocolate. that is fucking Nutella. I know for a fact that's Nutella. I've seen it a hundred times. Yeah, it's chocolate. It's chocolate. Look <laughs> at how it's coated. So if you touch something that's got, you know, shit smeared on it, you'll get a little bit on the inside of your hand. This is all up in his fingers. This is like he literally just went into a jar of Nutella. Like he says it's Nutella. Very specific. Not only that you know that it's chocolate not like, he knows that it's chocolate but specifically nutella he doesn't I, why would you lick shit that you you know had on your fucking front porch you wouldn't but he well, knows he is a nutella. toddler now if we remember uh when he got to denver back to denver he was showing off his birthday jar of nutella oh yeah interesting so really <clears throat> So we know that you bought Nutella for yourself. We know that you have this conspicuously all over your hand, like you reached in there. Uh, you sniff it and go, oh, it's chocolate, specifically Nutella. Um, you know, that's interesting. Interesting, right? And if you watch in his hand, he's being very careful to make sure that none of it drips off, right? He wants the full effect. It's a bag full of dog shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, right. You took the fucking handle off my fucking door? So weird, too. Like, there's no chocolate on that door. Well, where's the door handle? <laughs> right. So how'd you get... Yeah, where, where, how'd you get... And in a second, he says, they stole my door handle. So right. where did you put your hands and poop at? Right, right, right. Why do you have all that shit on your hand when it's not on the door? Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, just the basic a things that, like a normal person. If you're going to fake evidence, Chili, I don't think that you should. It's a dishonest thing to do, but I expect it from you because you are a dishonest con artist, grifting piece of shit. Objectively, that's a statement of fact. Add that to your fucking lawsuit. But just common sense here, right? So you obviously are saying that you couldn't open the door with the door handle. Um, where'd the chocolate come from? Oops. Where'd the chocolate come? Right. 
these are things you got to think about, you fucking nitwit. He's such a bad actor. You Watch think? back someone is here. Like, don't what are you talking jar. about? Don't lick that. Yeah, don't lick the don't lick the jar the jar of chocolate at his feet. Don't do that. I can tweak it, dude. The fucking doorknob's broken. Yeah. Now let's go back. He says it's dog shit on my step, right? He never opens the bag. It's just hold on. You can see the bag. Let's see. Maybe we should slow it down in a minute. Are you fucking? Where can we get the bag? All right. Oh, let's go back to the bag. Dude, that like, is like, full on see? hand in the jar of Nutella. Right. I've had a toddler Ooh, stick their hand in a jar of Nutella, and it, that's Honestly. like exactly it. Yeah. All over your face. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. Charlie. 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 Let's see where we can see this fucking bag. I think it's around here. Right there. It's a closed bag, Chili. So you literally just like, bent oh, down fresh. there and were like, right. It's dog shit. Like, is that a wrapper sitting out this top corner? The yep. white and green? Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's not even poop. It's a bag of like food. DoorDash. It looks like DoorDash. No, I wouldn't be surprised if he took Charlie's shit and put it in a fucking bag. Like that would not he surprise would. Me one bit, right? But like, how do like, you know that bag it's of dog shit? Tips. Right, like it's a bag on your doorstep. You'd have to open it and be like, "Oh my god, it's dog shit." He never opens it. He just knows that it's dog shit. Like, what, do you have X-ray vision? Is that was that what's going on here? This is egregious. The amount of fucking lying that he's doing, like absolutely egregious. And he thought yeah. a judge was going to be like, "Yep, this man's telling the truth." Get right, right. Like, look at the captions. Look at the yeah. captions. He's telling the truth. <laughs> now we know why he's not the Black Power Ranger. What, because he's an idiot? Well, that and the fucking blatant racism. Wait, what? No, because he's a horrible actor. No, no, look at the little caption. Oh, it does right. seem to tell. Not... Hmm. Right, specifically. Hmm. Specifically, how the fuck do you know specifically what it is? Like, I know what brand of chocolate this is. Because I put it on my own hand. Like, this is comically terrible lying. Are you bad fucking actor. kidding me? But let's keep in mind that this man who's for prison reform, the justice system, rule of law, constitutional rights, was willing, motivated, and intended to submit this to a court of law to place a civil restraint on my <laughs> liberties. Let that sink in. <laughs> This is who we're doing. That tracks. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. You took the fucking handle off my fucking door? No. No one did. Yeah, right. Well, okay, let's say they did. How'd you get shit on your hand then? Right. Yeah. Don't lick that, Charlie. Don't lick that. What's with the red banner? Just to like drive it home to the judge? Theoretic the, um, cinematic effect. Right. This is like, you know, Watch your back, he, someone he could, is he here. Property. He couldn't figure out how it. to, like, yeah, he couldn't edit in the uh, the creepy music with the ambiance to create that foreboding um, atmosphere that he wanted to. So he just puts it on the screen. Watch your back. Someone is like, no one was there, Chili. You're a terrible actor. You're an even, it's not like, I mean, he lies frequently and freely. So I'm not going to, like, it's not that he's a terrible liar because he's a really good person and this is out of character. He's a terrible liar because he's dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking doorknob's broken. Oh, no. It's not your doorknob anyway, Chili. I think, like, honestly, like, what do you think your Airbnb is going to think when they realize that you broke the doorknob on their fucking property to make a point, Chili? I wonder if they have security cameras here. I do wonder if they have security cameras. A lot of Airbnbs do. That would be interesting. I told you to never threaten me, Chili. I told you to never threaten me, Chili. That's your voice? 
I'll tell you, that is my voice. And this is what happened, right? So Chili was fucking threatening me. And I told him, don't fucking threaten me, right? So he did. And I, I went and I fucking uh, <laughs> changed my voicemail real quick to that, texted him. He called to be like, who is this? Like, you know, thinking it was a friend. And it was just, I told you not to threaten me, Chili. And he lost his fucking shit. But none of these calls are me. <laughs> like, like, none. None. It was one text. Like, hey, Chili, you're doing a really good job. And he was like, who is this? Immediately called. Got my voice. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not really sure who this is. I, I think that this is the, the girl from the mass hole report who has called my phone 200 times. I just want to tell you, um, please stop calling my phone. I, I don't want any interaction with you. I'm going to serve you a cease and desist letter. And then I'm going to serve you a federal lawsuit. Uber. So this is outright harassment. I have the call records. You called me uh, dozens of times when I'm trying to do my job and what I do. So please stop contacting me. I, I, I heard the answering machine. This is the same girl from the mass hole report named Kate. So <laughs> I'm just making it a matter of record here that mm -hmm. I don't want you calling my phone. I didn't give you my phone number. I've never asked you to contact me. Please stop calling my telephone. I don't know who you are and I don't care. I think you're a total loser. Please leave me alone and stop contacting me. Thank you. <laughs> you said all the ball. emails. <laughs> that ball. I like that. And he reiterated that. And then I just, and now it just goes on and she <laughs> writes me, you know, five more emails. She just, you know, it's just, it just she just keeps on writing me email after email after email. So he, he so, scrolls but right the, by. I mean, the, but but this is all, folks. You know, but that's it. The threats and he scrolls right violence. by the whole thing. That the reason that there's emails is because he kept emailing me, and every time that he would email me, I'd be like, as long as you email me back, Chili, I'm going to respond to you. <laughs> if you, you don't do want to talk those to emails me, on a live. Right. I like, I think some of those emails literally we wrote on a live together. Other, I always put them on my community page. Like it's not harassment. They're, they're emails that upset you because in a very um, passive aggressive way that is too intellectual for Chili to grasp, I am telling him to go fuck himself and that enrages him. And he beats his little tiny baby fists and goes, I'm going to ask the government for protection. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Stop emailing me and calling me a snitch. <laughs> he constantly has like the Arthur hand, like mm, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> literally, that's him all, all the time. Biggest cop Queen sucker is chilly. Oh, why? Why are there two Cindy Sues again? Right. <laughs> What's going on? This is why I hate large panels. They, they, the, the anxiety just gets to me. Yup. Because my phone keeps knocking me out. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, listen, his video, uh, he's given me a lot of clips to work with. I haven't done a good chili edit in a while. I'm doing a good chili edit. <laughs> All right, I, I need to see the rest of it now. Okay. Um, that's it. That's it. That's that. That's all for this. That's all for this. This was the last broadcast of this. Is it? No. They, they can make all the videos they want about Didn't me. Did he do two they more can... after this? Yes, he streamed about us twice more. So <laughs> <laughs> He's doing good. This is the part of the cycle. I'll tell you, this is the cycle. This is where you know he blocks everybody and he tells like everyone, "I'm not going to talk about the trolls anymore. I'm over it. It's just my mission from here on out." And in uh, two more days, he's going to realize that he doesn't have a fucking mission, and he's going to go right back to obsessing over the trolls because he can't reconcile with the fact that he is a failure. But it's because he's a failure. It's nobody else's fault. It's just who you are <laughs> as a person. This is the last time. This is the last time making video. Yeah, yeah. This is the last time. This is the last time he's talking about it. after video about me this is the last time they get mentioned this is the last time they get <laughs> talked about moderators you can just block them you can just permanently block them or time them out over and over and over just time to move on and i leave here i'm out of here <laughs> and people don't know where i'm going they're not gonna know los and angeles the next yeah, couple things that i do <laughs> are only for this movement because we have to double triple That's our numbers stalking, right now so. we, have yes. <laughs> we have to get bigger we have to get a lot bigger. We have to get more people. 
So, you know, I don't, I don't care about the trolls here. You guys, we just, th this is the last mention and we're, I, I mean, I, we're going to move forward. So the moderators do me a favor. Don't have conversations about these guys in the chat, just block them. And we move forward because I have to just focus on the mission at hand right now. So just, you know, uh, Frogmaster, you can just permanently block the people who are just known trolls, you know. That's his poop hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's doing the finger vagina for us all. Look at oh, last finger vagina ever. So, yeah. So just just block them. There's no point. You know, there's there's people I don't want to mention them, but you know who they are. You know that your usernames just permanently block them, moderators, and we'll just move forward. We'll just move right forward. All right. So we'll just let's just move forward because remember these people are going to be critics forever they don't offer anything so they won't grow all their fake troll all that stuff let's just move forward and that's that's my final message here i'm just going to move forward you guys got to see the video that i made to show the judge that she didn't look at let's just move forward let's move on chevy you can just send them pack in gloria scrubzilla Good to see you, Scrub. I'm glad you're back, man. I do love, love you, that for him that he and, now uh, officially has a poop hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should. That's all. No, brand. I think he's right. The fact that the judge was not able to uh, view that just solid evidence uh, packed into that video is a goddamn travesty. It's a miscarriage. <laughs> I think that Chili should appeal. Don't you? Absolutely. Oh my god! Yeah, the courtroom would have erupted. Well, we especially the princess kidding, poop hand now, please. Actually, don't don't appeal that. The courts are done with your shit. I was I was just kidding. I don't want to give them any fucking ideas. Yeah, you know, sure. shit. Um, the title of the I, video. You want to see a fucking tyrant? Uh, I'm sure the judge would have loved that. Right. I think there's right. a camera right off to the side of that porch, so the owners of the OB, uh, the Airbnb probably saw it. I've yeah. been going back and forth and looking at um at that particular thing. So there is a camera, Chili. Ha, there's a camera, Chili. You're on camera faking evidence. It's going to suck if somebody asks the Airbnb for that. That's going to really fucking suck, isn't it? Oh, man. I got to counter sue you, too. So I could probably fucking subpoena that. Uh, let's just... All right, I gotta go. I got actually, you guys. I'll I mean, honestly, yeah, that's a pretty good because I I believe that that would be defamation per se, because uh, he's accusing me of a crime. He's claiming that I went there and and vandalized uh, this Airbnb's property. That's a crime. I feel like yeah, that I have to. I can add it. that to my counterclaim, and I could probably uh, in the discovery phase uh, subpoena that Airbnb footage. I wonder how they're gonna feel, oh Chili, God, when they realize. That their Airbnb guest vandalized their property and you know fucked with the door handle just so he could make a stupid YouTube video to try to get somebody else civilly restrained. I bet they're gonna definitely want you to come back and stay again for sure. I for can sure. see that going on long. I'll be on time. another channel uh, yeah. later tonight. I'll be on another channel later tonight. I'm a, I'll be a guest speaker on another channel tonight talking about Terry versus Ohio. So it's funny. I got a phone call this morning. Buddy of mine just hit 50,000 subs and he said, Chili, for my 50,000 celebration, I want to have you on my show and I want you to tell us all about Terry versus Ohio. So I said, okay, <laughs> so, so tonight no I'll be on a show. I'll let my moderators and my friends know what show I'm going to be on and uh, let's just move forward, all right? Listen, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for the support, my moderators and my friends and the people who support me and love me. Thank you so much for the support. This is probably the best thing ever because now we just move forward and we'll just, you know, I already said it. So now we just, we just move forward. We just move forward. All right. Listen, I love you guys. I got to get the vlog. I actually need to take a nap. I was up until five o'clock in the morning uh, getting that video done that they didn't, they didn't look. <laughs> they, didn't, no they didn't look at, they didn't look at. You know? So when you guys uh, build up a following of uh, 50,000 subscribers, you can have anybody you want on your channel calling you filthy names and treating you bad. But but you don't have a channel with 50,000 subscribers yet. And neither does that troglodyte. It's all fake. They're all fake. <laughs> They're all fake nodes. They're all fake. You know, five people have multiple accounts. <laughs> the concentration time hey, is my Hey, you have favorite. rights. Cops have duties. I love you, buddy. We've had a long journey, dude. So we just keep going. We just keep on going. We just keep on going. I just really need a nap. I got to. I got to do a show tonight with my friend, and I got to finish packing because I got to get the flock out of town. I got to get out of here. So I'll just keep going. 
I'll just keep going. Listen, I love you guys, man. Thank you guys so much for coming by and listening to me and let me talk for a second. Listen, we don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. We don't stop. This doesn't, this doesn't change anything for me. I just keep on going. I just keep going. I just keep going. All right, I got to go. Listen, love you guys, man. Am I disappointed? Big time disappointed. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what I can do legally behind the scenes quietly as I just work on our mission here, you know, and I'll just, I'll, I really will keep it quiet behind the scenes and I'll just keep on going. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys. I bet you won't. You can't <laughs> shut up. Yeah. So he, He's just saying that he's going to go back and, you know, quietly now try to, you know, inundate me with bullshit fucking hearings and paperwork. This is going to age well. It's going to age well. I love how he has to convince himself. He's like, all those people there on that channel, they're fake. They're not real people. Like, no, honey, <laughs> sorry. But, you know, we've had literally a hundred times uh, the uh, the amount of live viewers that you get. Uh, and it's all real. Sorry. I know that hurts your feelings. Right, as is all the, the money. Super chats are really going to hurt his you. feelings. Yeah, the Jeez. super chats. I hope, I really hope, Chili, that you sit and just like when we read off the super chats, which we're about to do right now, because it's you know over an hour that we've been live. Uh, we've held again a hundred times your viewers for over an hour now, but uh, I hope that you really just feel every single super chat that comes in deep in your dark, you know, empty void little soul. Oh, did you know he does. Someone said he got booted from the 50,000 stream. <laughs> oh, thank you. 3931. Oh Never mind. We got to go back to this video. You got to listen to this because this is fucking ridiculous what he does here. Because, you know, of course, he's this video, he's not going to talk about it anymore, but he's, he's talked about it several times since then. But uh, this this last video that he did, 39. What minutes. is going on? So listen, listen to this. One more learning. No more, no more studying for the bar. Don't, don't study with, don't go to law school for two years or go work with a lawyer for two years. Don't do that. Don't learn more to be better. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just going to get better. And we don't stop. 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 Remember, we have a mission to accomplish. And I'm not telling you guys everything. I'm not telling you everything. There's something I'm not telling you. There's something I'm not telling you. There's something. Something I'm not. Something I'm not telling you. I'm scared. You. There's something I'm not <laughs> telling you. I got a. Mom, hold me. Big secret. <laughs> Charlie. Dude, I stand by my record. statement that he is a fucking toddler. Fuck? Just for the record, Chili, just so we're clear, we know that you're a homosexual. It's not a big secret. You can Oof. just tell us now. Oof. Us Amended now. lawsuit. Fine. Boom. Don K. Peters. Right. There's not a big secret. I've been in the closet for 48 years. 48 years. <laughs> oh I've been in the God. closet for 48 years. We know. It's fine. He's in fucking Narnia. I would like him more, honestly, if he would just come out with his big secret and be like, I adore penis. I we can, can go to a drag that. show with I him. Do too. Yeah, I would hang out with him. Charlie? I got a big secret. Yeah. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> Dog's like, I'm not. <laughs> fuck you. Dog's like, no, no, <laughs> no, no. Listen, no. I got to learn more stuff, man. You know, I just threw my hat in the ring for a fight. <laughs> right? I, I threw my hat in the ring for a fight, didn't I? Right? Okay. So I I, I lost the battle. There's, there's still a war. This is just a battle. Battle, this battle, 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 battle. battle. And you got to keep weirdo. fighting. You got to keep fighting. You have to keep fighting. So he's going to keep fighting. Like, yeah, bring it, bitch. Bring it, bitch. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> call it a war. Call it whatever you want. I will continue to beat you in everything that I do. Like, you know, it's, it's almost... I wouldn't respect me if I was on the outside looking at this because this is punching down at this point, Chili. You are so far beneath. Like you're just you're way out of your weight class here. But we can keep doing this. That's fine. Honestly, it's it's a win win for me. I am constantly looking for a way to entertain myself on the internet. I love the content. We can keep doing this forever. That's fine. That's fine. What are you gonna do next, Chili? You gonna come hunt me down and murder me? You gonna send Zayner out to you know put a hit on me? You have to keep stop putting on that out fighting. in the universe. You can't. Yeah, no shit. You're not gonna win every time. You're gonna lose sometimes. So let me give you a good example. 
how do I make that? Okay, I got a buddy. That's the best way I can tell the story. I got a buddy and he's got a he's got a kid. And the kid is a wrestler and I'm a wrestler. So so the the I go to the kids meet with with this buddy of mine. And and he's screaming at his kid to win, 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 win. I pull, I, I, I grab my buddy, man. I pull him to the side. I said, I said, listen, you have to stop that. I said, you have to stop doing that. He Go that kid is not right always here. gonna win in wrestling. It's not gonna happen. You are not gonna win all the time in wrestling. I don't care how good you are. There's someone gonna beat you. There's someone gonna beat you hundred percent. You're gonna lose. And then you get to the very top level, like the Jordan Burroughs and the Sadulovs and the Dakes and these guys who are, you know, Jaden Cox, these guys who are these top. So, 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 so your kid is in a wrestling meet and you're screaming, win, 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 right? Your kid goes up against Jordan Burroughs. You're not beating Burroughs, brother. <laughs> you're not beating Jordan Burroughs. You are not going to beat him. He's a seven time world champion. You're not beating him. No, you ain't beating him. Uh uh. Your kid ain't beating him. So, so. Okay, can you pause so, you have, so, is he saying you're Jordan Burroughs? He can't beat you? It sounds like, yeah, he's he's comparing me to a seven time world champion wrestler. Um, okay. okay right. I, can buy, I can buy that. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Chili. I'm actually quite flattered. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. I mean that. Thank you. Uh, you know, you're going to take losses. It's, it's if you're going to lay there and like a bitch, get up, excuse me for the language, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, you lay there and cry, get up. I mean, if you have a mission, if you have a mission, you get up, right? It, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise you just, you just over your, <laughs> your, your. Words, Chili. Put words together. This man has lost his mind. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> broke him, Kate. This man is broken. This he man is destroyed. He does. And he does think he's been crying, too. I got to figure out what mascara he uses because, you know, I don't, barely ran. I think he's just really high, honestly. I don't believe that Chili DeCastro actually has tear ducts like a human. <laughs> Well, here's what I think. just a little too high on that Denver weed. Well, here's what's kind of weird, and I wish we would show the video, but no, we won't. That's fine. During the whole court thing, he was sweating profusely. He's in the exact same room, and now he's not. Yeah. No, he was high as balls. Like, no doubt. Yeah. All right. On that note, I'm going to go to Super Chats because we have 133 of them, Chili. <sighs> God bless you, Chili. Yeah. Chili's credit card for $4. Four, four, Four pounds. pounds and 49 yeah. pence. Yeah. Says uh, Chili's car stole all my money. So this is all I have. I understand it. <laughs> Kristen Rapp says, Hey, Kate, remember when Chili asked if you were having fun yet? <laughs> Kate always was. I'm having a blast. This is a good day. Afterwards, Shiz and I got some fucking apps. I had a, a espresso martini at like 12 30 in the afternoon. Uh, she drove me back home. Like, you know, I like there was a block party down the street, went there. The kids went there. Good time all the way around. Cindy Sue sent me pizza for dinner. Oh, I've had a great day. Thank you, Cindy Sue. Uh, but like, looked, seriously, like, I'm having a lot of fun, really, Chili. You looked really nice today, too, by the way. Did I? Mm -hmm. Yes, Thank you, you did. I am an expert photographer. Are you yeah, saying you filter really one? <laughs> No, she needs to build it on me. Fuck you. No, you know what it is that we've determined is like I am the least photogenic person possible. As soon as you get a camera in my face, like that's it. It's a wrap. Like I yeah, you gotta will, sneak I, up on her. Yeah. Right. I'll like I'll accentuate my huge nose and then I like squish my face in so that my head looks like a Lego and like I just constantly like the worst like <laughs> Roblox <"Rrr," Roblox> <laughs> Yeah, I literally like she took a picture of me and it was like it would have been a nice picture, but I like squished my head in so much I literally looked like a Roblox character. I I don't even want to look at it anymore. Every time that she tries to make like make a thumbnail with that picture, I'm like, get that Lego head out of here. I don't want to look at it anymore. So I'm just really unphotogenic. But she is a good photographer. And now she tells me what to do with my face. I didn't know what to do with my face before. It's all about them angles. So it's helping. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm too awkward for this life. Yeah, I really have a face for radio. Katie B says, all 
Hail Queen Caitlin, and that intro is fire shiz. She does Thank make you. fire intros. All right. Chili's credit card says, please have a vodka on chili. I don't drink vodka because it tastes like nail polish remover smells. And now you're getting sued, Chili's credit card. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm suing you for asking me to drink vodka. You know, listen, my employers, the Russian government, they're always, you know, insisting that I drink vodka, but it's just, I can't do it. Um, Every time you said troll thing. farm in court today, I like cringe. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, we... He doesn't know what a troll farm is. Like, dear God. Um, low speed belly drag says, still waiting on our paychecks as professional trolls. Will we get pay payment in rubles? Yes, we pay in rubles um, because we're a troll farm. Also, just so you know, Chili did upgrade you guys today. Previously, he was calling you professional trolls. You are now professional harassers. So congratulations. Everybody gets a promotion. Don't expect a fucking raise, though. Okay? Don't expect a raise. <laughs> Um, Chili's runaway door handle says I'll never go home while he's there. Oh my god, you guys are I so mean... quick. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love he it. makes the sock account so easy. Uh, Tina Flores said, I watch faithfully, donate in Super Chat. Why did I have to become a member to watch last night? Hi, Tina. I got your email and I actually emailed you back just to explain. We don't do members only streams that often, but we do offer memberships. So we have to have some sort of like, you know, uh, perk for becoming a member. Otherwise, I'm literally just taking $1.99 a month from people for nothing. So we do those about once a month. Um, I don't know if anyone was in the live chat last night before the members only stream. I purchased and gifted 45 memberships. I don't want to pat on the back for that. My point is that if you come into the live chat early during the, the uh, members only streams, however much is in my budget at that time, I will gift the memberships because I understand that it can be financially constraining for some people. That's not my intent. I certainly don't want it to be too, you know, exclusionary or anything like that. It's just something that like we offer the membership. So therefore we have the membership, uh, you know, perk. So, you know, it's usually just us uh, shooting the crap about random people, like old history. Yeah. Yeah. They're a lot more relaxed. It's a smaller audience. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's not necessarily better or worse. It's just different. It's just added stuff that you get, you know, for becoming a member. But, you know, I certainly don't want to, you know, put anyone under any financial constraints. It's certainly like, I appreciate you guys' super chats and everything, but you, you can come hang out for free, all of you. I just want to make that very clear. You know, I appreciate when you do it. Really thank you, but it's not mandatory. You know, I'm not going to stop making content if the super chats dry up or anything like that. That's not why we do this. It's a nice bonus right now. Now, but it's not why we do this and you know uh thanks to you guys generosity over the last couple months uh, you know shiz and i have really been talking about like we need to you know do some things production wise now that we can afford to do so so stay tuned uh for everybody not just for members gurn akiva says uh anyone else notice that he took the doorknob off on the outside but the screws are on the inside of the house otherwise anyone could break into any house yeah yeah that's another good detail yeah and he would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling trolls and the judge that wouldn't listen to his fake evidence. Dude, get out of my fucking head. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah right. I literally was about to say it. I went to unmute and you said it. It's because we have a unibrain. Shiz and I are twin souls, twin flames. You know, two souls. No. Two bodies. Actually, I I actually forgot a question I had for you, Kate. Did his <laughs> seven people show up in court today? No. Just, just. <laughs> Dane. Just solo dolo. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so well, he can well. creepy and wait in the parking lot. Solo psycho. Uh, Chili's, Chili's credit card says, I broke my timeout virginity on Chili's channel. Oh, did he time you out? I'm sorry. He does that sometimes. You, the you LG says, along, Playboy. Yeah. Listen, you're allowed to chat in Chili's chat. He really believes in freedom of speech. You just have to agree with everything that he says and don't even ask any questions. And you're fine. As long as you do that, you can say whatever you want. Just don't disagree with him. Don't insult him. Don't make fun of him. Don't ask any questions that he doesn't want to answer. I'm Otherwise, crazy. he's an open book, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the LG says, I'm in. I don't know what you're in for, but I, I'm sure it's something good. We have fun. This is a great group of people. So if you're in, uh, I'm in. Uh, Hank's Corner says, I wonder how much chili powder he has had today. I love that. <laughs> a lot, it looks like. He was really sweating profusely in front of the judge. Profusely. <laughs> 
AJ says, I'm glad I didn't become unemployed from the farm. Yeah, it was. I, I was afraid that we were going to have to do layoffs. I'm not going to lie. I was really concerned about it, but we made it through, guys. We made it through. No gulag. No gulag. Yeah. <laughs> Brian K says, I cannot believe he thinks he can teach this. Yeah, no, I cannot believe that he considers himself a teacher at all. This is something you don't even need the last barely. word. Just I cannot believe he thinks he can teach. End of sentence. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, he, he can't. Uh, he can't even teach you how to make fake evidence properly because he's, <laughs> <a moron. laughs> he's fucking poop right. hand. <laughs> yeah. The timing of that little ding uh, sound effect was good, though. That lined up nicely. That's probably what took him until five o'clock in the morning. On <laughs> like lining up the the ding with like ding, like oh, perfect, got it, ready to go to court. Uh, Debo's Nation says, "Hey guys, love your channel." And Kate, you are way more popular than Chilito will ever be. Yeah, we have a homeless guy in town that sometimes sleeps on the bench at the park, and all the kids like will go up to him and give him Cheetos. Or like, you know, whatever they buy at the store because they're nice kids. My daughter talks to him sometimes. He's more popular than Chili will ever be. He's kind of a fixture around <laughs> town. Um, so I appreciate the compliment. It's a pretty low bar. Inquisitor Rurik, thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing another members only stream probably in about three weeks to a month. Uh, Jeff Hartz says, now that Chili won, what is the channel about now? Pet grooming, uh, cinnamon challenge, Billy Eilish lip syncing. I was thinking that we could, you know, maybe... Uh, do some cat content. Really <gasps> cats, right? Yes. I really do want to dig into like the the bad trolling cases on the internet. I think that will be really yeah, fun. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was a good idea, right? We're gonna do a little informational, a little. I'm gonna do some lectures for Chili on like you know how good he has it here on the internet compared to what it could be. Uh, Lisa McKay says, epiphany, su supposition, or joke. Chili's actual mission to raise enough money for leg lengthening surgery. Cost $75,000 to $150,000. Am I right? Possibly. I love when we do this little, like, uh, you know, sort of speculation game where we give ridiculous answers that may or may not apply in Chili's life. Because it's like, there's always a 50-50 chance that you could be right. Right? It always um, seems somewhat plausible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Jeff Hart says, Chilito is suing his mods for not blocking or timing out the judge from his live stream court this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means, honestly. Um, general user says, congratulations on the win. Thank you, general user. Thank you, general user. All right. So I'm making a tally for Chili, actually, this time. I just want to, I want to give him the, the full total so he understands, you know, who's winning today. Uh, Pam B says, is he such a narcissist that he literally cannot be off camera? Mind boggling. Also, yay to him losing yet again. Life lessons are hard. They are, you know, the the most important lessons in life are not, you know, met easily. They are, or, you know, kind of, you know, overcome. It's difficult, but uh, Chili won't learn anything anyway, so it's completely useless. Most Linux of us said we, what's that? Most of us learn from life lessons, not so much for Chili. No, 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 no. Like, he'll take a life lesson and, and look at dead in the face and be like, actually, you don't have anything to teach me life. I have something to teach you. He literally is just yep. constantly trying to. Like I love earlier this when he's trying to give his history lesson. He's like, you won't get this history anywhere else. Like, don't chill you. Like your version of history is unique because it's wrong. That's <laughs> what, like, of course, you won't get it anywhere else. There's yeah. only really one version of history, like, you know, which is accurate history. And you're not you're not it, buddy. Uh, Linux guy says we are his entire stream. He was 380. You go live. He's at nine within five minutes. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> You're welcome for the viewers, Chili. Uh, Casey Cooper says, "Congrats on finding another kangaroo court." <laughs> well, yeah, no, I keep uh, keep going into him. I wasn't completely, you know, convinced that he wasn't going to get the order too after the fucking Turtle Boy debacle because it really does kind of depend on the judge and how they're feeling that day. Like, there's a certain amount of subjectivity to these orders that's a little uncomfortable, to be completely honest. Because all these people, their end goal is to slap these orders on me and then aggressively try to find something they can construe as a violation. 
um, so that they can see me thrown in jail or criminally charged, whatever they can really get there. They haven't, you know, gotten there yet. The best the turtle boy can do is go, the Boston police filed charges on, you know, they filed a complaint. No charges or, you know, look it up right now. I've got no charges on me as we speak today. Um, I have to pay for an attorney because you're not entitled to an attorney at a clerk magistrate's hearing. So I couldn't even go in and ask the court for one. I have to pay for it out of pocket uh, because, you know, it's it's not a criminal case. And he did call the kangaroo court during his first video. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. He always does. He always does. Yeah. Ladybug asks, uh, will this ever be available to watch on Zoom? Watch. No, the court audio is available on FTR or will be. So. They and there is a channel. Video, well, there is a channel out there that does have it. If you want to chill, Google Chili DeCastro, just saying. Joe, stop that. Jolene, Jolene, stop it. No. Jolene, you, don't you try to take her man. Okay. Yeah. She can have him. <laughs> Sneaking um, up on you. <laughs> B. Blanco says, Kate Peter with no S was a badass today. B. Blanco, good to see you today, man. Thanks for coming out. Uh, you know, all of us kind of local peeps, we got to get back together. We really, we missed the lunch date. It ended up only being me and Shiz. We got to get more people in there. Oh my gosh. I can't speak Russian S. Beaufort. Kate always wins in Russian. Thank you for that. The panel's wanting to blow up taco for some reason. I'm not sure why. We've had like 15 people ask for taco. I don't know if you want to take I'll a bring them up. Uh, somebody give them a link. I just got to get through these things. All right. I'm not sure if I can get them a link. Let me see if I can do it, though. All right. Chili reminds me of that teacher from Ferris Bueller. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. 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 Except, you know, he's not a good actor or teacher. Um, Mel M, do the tears en en enhance or detract from his eyeliner? At some points, like the way, like, Shiz sent me a screenshot earlier of him in court and it looked like he was wearing eyeliner. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But it could just be the shadows. I don't know. He's clearly high as balls here, like, just absolutely wrecked. Uh, Jeff Hart says, I shudder at the thought that his hand is probably not the only body part he's had Nutella on before. Oh, I mean, Chili see, I mean, uh, Chili's <laughs> aggressively licking the Nutella. So, I mean, Unpack that. Uh, Chuck in Tennessee says, formerly Chuck in Illinois here. Thanks for making me trigger him in his recent videos. No problem. Uh, yeah, we, we obviously control what everybody does all the time. Um, and we're glad to issue these, you know, orders to make people do this. <coughs> Akira 808 State says, Kate always wins. Uh, not always, but I guess I did today, huh, Chili? Always against Chili. Uh, peanut like be likes beans. Uh, thank you for joining us. Glad that you like beans. Um, death metal. Thank you for joining us. More Russian scraps to Selby. It's uh, chili is a dumb nuts in Russian. You think I should learn the language considering I'm running a troll farm? Very unprofessional. <laughs> over here. Gotta learn a few phrases. Ari, Ari here says, I miss Kate so much. It's almost like she's still here. Suck it, Chili. <laughs> yep, yep. Channel's done today, Kate. And you can't talk about going it anymore. Going dark. I guarantee it. I'll put money on it. That channel's going dark. Discord's still working um, too. I'm shocked. Yeah, potentially criminal says, Chili is guilty of cooking and selling cope. Absolutely. He has been mainlining copium all afternoon. Really <laughs> coping hard really coping hard it's a wonder to behold barry g says chili is trying to play humble but he is going to stew on this all night tomorrow's content is going to be amazing he, he always does deliver this guy give him credit for that i mean content is top tier especially after one of his failed court cases and there's a lot of non-stop hits there yeah zenerkin says kate i think you broke his brain oh I mean, it doesn't have to be working first for it to be broken. It's not usually how it works. Burn. Yeah. <laughs> Boom roasted. Sally Jesse Raphael Glasses says, I figure I should pledge our queen who always wins some rubles. Long live and prosper. Cancer free, Kate. Thank you. <laughs> now, if I if I do get cancer, which I'm a smoker, you never know. It, it, it probably will happen someday. Chili's going to be right there like, yes, I did it. <laughs> I won. <laughs> she has cancer. Right, because, uh, you know, he's going to get one win in. So uh, here's hoping that I smoke too many cigarettes and get cancer just for you, Chili. Michael Bowman says, hope you like your flower. It brings good luck. I don't know that I got that, Michael Bowman, honestly. I'll, oh, you know what? I think I there was a package at my door, 
and I think it's still on my doorstep. I am so sorry. It's been crazy. I'll should I check it right now? You should. Should I go get it right now? Okay, I'm gonna go yes. get it right now. Hold on. I'm gonna go outside. Hope it's not that double sided dildo she ordered. <laughs> Again? Embarrassing. <laughs> Again? She broke the last one. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize. And you you mentioned something about it today too, Mike Bowman, but it's been a crazy fucking day. Hold on. I gotta open this. What should be a chili yeah. bomb? Oh my god, can you imagine if I just got the anthrax <laughs> on live? <laughs> oh, this looks pretty gifty. Look at this. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, look at the box. Ooh. I'm gonna keep the box. That's gorgeous. Hold on. That's just the box. I made you bigger. Who would have thought we would do an unboxing on this channel? This is kind of off brand. Okay. Oh my God, oh. Michael, this is so pretty. <laughs> Someone said it's Nutella. <laughs> no, oh, it's oh, it's an eternal rose. That's so cute. I love it. I don't know where to put it. I could put it on my bookcase in my living room, but I'm afraid something will happen to it. That's oh, it has lights. Yeah, put it by your bed. It's like a night light. Or to put on your oh, desk. I gotta, I gotta, it needs batteries. Hold on. Nobody's here to get me batteries right now. I'm gonna take a picture of it with batteries in it as soon as I get off stream. I'm gonna put batteries on. That is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love it, and I love the box. I'm gonna keep the box to put stuff in because the box is really pretty. Michael, you're you guys adorable. are so good to me, right? You, <laughs> you are, are a really treasure, treasure, Michael Bowman. An absolute you are. treasure. It's adorable. I've made some of the best friends online that you could possibly like hope for, honestly. All right. Uh, thank you again. Like, so many nice things tonight. Humphrey Pushcart says, we don't stop. The pathet pathetic chant of lemmings as they hurtle off the cliff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Judy LaPointe says, Kate always wins. I did today and Chili did not. Uh, Jeff Hart says, Chili though, the Cleveland Browns. Of oh, sorry, Chili. I got distracted by the rose and I can't keep up with the the count so i'm just gonna I, I missed a couple sorry chili i'll give you a roundabout estimation of how much money you're not making um chilito the cleveland browns of jur jurisprudence yeah 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 that's a pretty good one it's true uh chibi peach says oh my god she broke santa's elf I, i'm sorry I <laughs> again it has to be kind of functional to break in the first place just a dude. That's kind of an says, insult to elves. Just a dude says there are 2,000 people here pointing and laughing at Chili Vanilli. Gotta love it. Well, if you uh, listen to Chili, they're all fake. So he can have some solace in that. You're not real people. Uh, yeah, Chili's 25, credit card. Sorry, but, yet you have 20, but yet you have 25,000 people following him. So which right, is right. it? They're all fake or they're not? Chili, come on. But there's only 218 people watching Chili on Dennis Sperling's channel right now. Dude. Oh, is that hey, his channel? Can I pause Dennis you for Sperling? like one second? Yeah, he's been on there second. for a year and a half. Do you want to see how quick I mean, the trolls are? An hour and a half. Yeah, I made a joke that your new sex toy just arrived and someone already has a sock. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you guys That's are amazing. too fast. It's crazy. You're on it. You're on it. All right, Chili's credit card says, I hope you don't have to take too many more days off work for Chili, the expletive of your choice. Me too, honestly. That is kind of a bummer. Um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But yeah, like, I'm, I'm not going to lose my job as of right now over anything, but it is just, it, it's disruptive because I have a job where I actually have like a workload. So what's going to happen tomorrow is I'm going to go back into work and my desk is going to be stacked with like papers and bullshit that I don't want to have to do. And I'm going to have to do it on top of the work that comes in for tomorrow, too. So that's kind of being an adult. Chili doesn't understand. Me, thanks for joining. Direct D, hello, my friend. Hey, Direct D, text me because I actually have to, I, I have some legal stuff that I have to do regarding you and uh, some uh, suing, not the kind of suing you guys are thinking of, but I, I meant to call you about it actually three weeks ago and it's been a little bit busy, but thank you. He says, all hail Kate. Appreciate it, my friend. Um, Scraps to Selby Bowen says, we don't stew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sorry, Chili. I'm I'm doing um doing your running to right now. We're at two sixty eight fifty three. Um, Chili, just in case you were wondering. Uh, Ari here says, creepy said the guy who chased you and punched your car. Exactly. Exactly. I get a little teary eyed in front of the judge when I said was talking about that too. Cause I was just, I was frustrated more than anything else. Like how dare these people talk about harassment when they literally got thrown out of a courtroom four times for accosting me and disrupting the entire courtroom and then waited at least 20 minutes for me to exit the courthouse so that they could follow me to my car, punch me, fill my license plate, threaten me, punch my fucking car. Like, don't talk about harassment, Chili, really. Um, Chili being allowed to speak in court is his own worst enemy. His self-centered personality and stupidity are all anyone needs to hear to read him. I mean, honestly, I feel like he could be stupid and kind of narcissistic and maybe still get somewhere with a case if it was legitimate. The problem is that, like, he's stupid, narcissistic, and his case is completely illegitimate. It was just a really bad combo. Better luck next time, buddy. Maybe one of the three will change. Um, Lori says, I would pay for a judge reaction video. I mean, I felt bad and like she just wanted to get on with, you know, the, the court proceedings for the day and Chili just ruined it. And he was so disrespectful. He really was. Carl says homeless, carless, jobless, penniless at almost 50. Yeah, he's winning. He's a real special guy. Uh, God's, you know, he's pretty much Jesus incarnate um, doing wonderful things. Grandma Sunshine Dragon said, hell yeah, toast in a bowl in your honor, Kate, because Kate always wins. Word, if I get off here early enough, I'm going to light up a little bit of a joint and I'll be right there with you, Grandma. Love you. All right. Sexy Ass Boo, I like your name, says, did he call the judge the N-word? Thank God, no. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, at some point. I was I'm nervous. Like, like, she, she came out. And she's got this long, you know, just beautiful hair. You can tell her makeup's done real nice. Um, she she walks in and you, you can just tell as she starts conducting court business, she's straight to the point. You know what I mean? Very efficient and fair. So at one point, Abrams kind of turns around to me because he can't really. And he goes, it's a woman. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, is she, is she black? And I was like, yup. And the looks that everybody were like, oh shit. Cause you don't know when Chili's racism is going to come out. And it's like, oh, how embarrassing is it going to be to be involved in the circus with this racist ass hat? Like, you know, I really, I, I, I didn't really think he was going to call her the N word or go full Glenn Serio with his racism. I did expect him to like chastise her for being a, a traitor to her own race or tell, you know, tell her that he's been saving the black community as he calls it. And that he's an ally. I was expecting some like not pandering, but really talking down to this woman who clearly has way more authority than I ever have in his entire life. But he sees someone who is not only female, but is, you know, African American. And he just immediately assumes that he's above them. He's a piece of shit. He really is. But thankfully it didn't get there. I, I, I was a little bit concerned that it was. The only way he could double or triple the movement is with X lax. Exactly. I mean, it's unbelievable. He thinks that like he literally he's he's bumbling around trying to shut down other people's free speech. Um, you know, and again, like this isn't I hate when people cry about my free speech on social media because they get shit removed by the platform or they get demonetized. Like all that shit sucks. I can understand being upset about it, but it's not infringing on your free speech because, you know. This is not a government entity. This is YouTube. But uh, when you actually pull in the government and, and try to involve the government and have the government essentially order me to shut up and stop hurting your feelings, like you're a you're a fucking tyrant, right? You're everything that you claim to be against. And and every time that he loses a court case, it just shows more and more that he has no legal expertise whatsoever. He's charging people for legal advice that he's clearly completely unqualified to give he can't even get through a harassment prevention order hearing and in massachusetts particularly those are some of the most pro se friendly hearings possible they throw out a lot of the procedural stuff it's very lax it's very equitable and fair because most people come in pro se and defend themselves pro se he couldn't even do that right so the the idea that he thinks he's going to double and triple his his, his followers here or the people that he's going to exploit for cash is just unbelievable because anyone with a brain will look at this guy and go, I don't want your advice on anything. Well, the judge was more than fair. She tried to bring him back to point many, many, many of times. And he yep. just would not yep. go back on point. Yep. Cause he can't do it. Kate, no. can we take a break real quick to shout out Chili's car for funding girls weekend out? 
Oh, thank you. Chili's car. 399 bucks. We're going to have so much fun. That's a lot of batteries. Yeah, we got to think of something good. It's a lot of batteries. Birthday weekend, we'll stay at the Millennium Tower. Boom. <gasps> yeah, that's right. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. All right. The pompous Sarah Marie says that evidence video definitely reeks of last minute 5 a.m. late homework, showing the judge him physically assaulting twice. Not a, Yeah, it's unbelievable. As he's playing me going, he's going to beat the shit out of me again. He shows himself assaulting me like. Yeah, it's like, yeah. like a threat in court. The one, the only James Freeman. This is crazy Twilight Zone shit. He says, you are a free speech hero, Kate. Thank you for your hard work as a dedicated troll. Thanks, James. I've actually enjoyed getting to know uh, Lackluster and James Freeman and Direct D and, and some of the other auditors that I had never really spoken to. Not people that I was usually overly adversarial with, but just people that, you know, I just... Um, didn't really give a lot of consideration to good people. Honestly, I can say that. And I don't care who shits on me for it. I'm not an us versus them type of person. And it's not just because he gave me 20 bucks, although I do appreciate <laughs> it. The, the drugs are in the mail. It's now. totally because of the 20 yeah. bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm not an auditor, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kate, would you, would you say today was the first prong? Yeah, no, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. I mean his 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 pronged attack now looks like it's maybe like a six prong attack. He's just gonna <laughs> try him. Doesn't get I, th I think it was your first prong though. He's eventually gonna have a fucking I don't have broom. any pro I don't have any prongs. I don't I don't I don't do attacks. Just True. to be clear, so that's what I do. I don't like I don't care enough to do that. I've got no prongs, Chili. I'm just rolling with the content as it comes out. Uh CarJ026, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Um, Jason says the obligatory, uh, the obligatory contribution just to piss off Chili. Kate always wins. Yeah, Chili, you yeah. should like just stop getting mad about the money. That would be like a smart move for you. You know what I mean? People would be less inclined to super chat that way. Uh, super califragilist. Ah, I almost did it. Super califragilist. Super cal Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Got you. Very special shiz. Uh, Kate always wins. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you for protecting our one A. I mean, let's. So I'm I'm in this fight, but let, I, I'm protecting my own one A is what I'm doing right now. I'm hoping that at some point we can really look at what's going on here and set some. I mean, I don't even know if setting precedent. I would like to be able to come up with a solution because this whole thing has been so crowdfunded that I, I'm under like a tremendous amount of pressure on myself right now. That. I want to accomplish something with it. I just don't know how right now, which is what the lawyer's for, I guess. But as of right now, like I value everyone's free speech. I really do believe in it. I allow it on my own channel all the time. You know, I, I've never advocated for people to get forcibly shut down from saying shit that I find objectionable or anything like that. Um, certainly not by the government. But um, I... Uh, I can't fight. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I don't feel right now like I'm fighting for everybody. I know that it's I'm just defending myself against this bullshit. I'm hoping that through that I can accomplish something else. I just it does bother me a little bit that I feel like it's like kind of shoveling while it's still snowing out. You know what I mean? Like, what am I really doing? Like, it's fun. This makes for good content. Chili's upset. Uh, you know, the judge made a decision that obviously I agree with it because it was in my favor. And I think that it was, it was the right thing to do. Um, and it had it gone in the adverse direction, I absolutely would have appealed that just like I filed a notice of appeal on the other one. Right. Cause I, it's a principal thing for me, but I just wish that I could do more. Honestly. Well, I, I don't I'll think you realize you are. I, about to say, I don't think you realize the impact you have. I mean, you by it, hopefully we, you, we, I say we, hopefully you will win in the federal lawsuit. And it's going to stop the next idiot from trying to do the exact same thing. Will it? Yeah, especially, it especially will not. when no, it the, the manus, the quote, manosphere, quote unquote, goes after women. You are doing a lot of good here. And you, I wish you'd realize that. I'm doing the best that I can. I would just say that. Yes, yeah, you are. as long as you're doing your best. I mean, Chili is just, he's chilly. Uh, these goofs are just as bad as flat earthers. Jay Freeman is one of the silliest. These zeros are just YouTube actors. Their BS has nothing to do with rights, freedom, or the Constitution. James Freeman, you know, it said that at some point, like, he's just making videos at this point. I don't think that he's pretty jaded about his impact. 
um, making a change. I, don't, I, I haven't heard him in a very long time even talk about really trying to make a change, to be fair, you know. Um, Ta Taco and Yoshi Gaming, I do see you in the backstage. Sorry, Taco, I'm trying to get through all these super chats. Says, uh, Chili hasn't had a PR person since Yoshi quit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get that role. I'm trying to get that role. Uh, Barugamon says, should have made that bet with Chili yesterday. He's not going to pay it anyway. Somebody in the chat said they bet $2,000 and he did pay them a hundred. Did he really? So, yeah. 1900. Allegedly. Allegedly. Wow. Ari here says yet again, I miss Kate so much. It's almost like she's still here. It's crazy. I really thought that I would be gone by now. I, I would literally, you know, I was signing up at DoorDash. Now I'm still here. <laughs> Uh, Shay too says, what does Chili have in common with an outhouse? They are both full of shit. Yes. I agree. Accurate. I agree. Accurate. Cynthia Merritt says, he's a rambling man. He does ramble a lot. <laughs> a lot about a lot of things. Tom Castro says, the only movement Chilito can handle is the toilet. Uh, can he handle that? His hand, that's questionable. Questionable. <laughs> his poop hand is strong. <laughs> yeah, his poop hand is strong. Nah. His friend just comes over and changes him. He just has that singular friend. Wow. Don't Dummy make eye Kruger, contact. Thank you. <laughs> Demi Kruger, thank you for the generous $100. I do appreciate that. He says, for a fir true First Amendment fighter, hail Caton. I just like I just don't want to give it like hype, you know what I mean? I like I'm I, like I have a vested interest in these cases. I'm just I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> Jeff Hart, I just want to be fair about it, you know. I feel like too many people. I think it's some like residual like trauma from working with Turtle Boy Sports because Turtle Boy would get sued all the fucking time. Like I, the guy's been sued probably like at least twenty five times in the last few years, just constantly. And every single time he would go up and beg for money and be like, "I'm fighting for your First Amendment rights," but that's not true. You're defending yourself in lawsuits because you can't shut the fuck up about you know uh, other people. And every once in a while they they hit back, like you know, um, and the. I guess percentage of how many were ridiculous to how many had merit. I don't know. He's settled on quite a few cases too. He's not undefeated, but it just left me with a really bad taste in my mouth, I guess. Cause it's disingenuous to be like, yes, give me money so that I can defend myself in these lawsuits for your free speech. Like, no, not really. Like, let's just be honest. I try to give back to the subscribers as much as possible. Like honestly, last night gifting out memberships was super fucking fun. It's like the lottery. You throw it out there and just, you know, people grab them up real quick. I felt good in doing that. I've sent merchandise to people um, who have been supportive. I, I like doing that. I try to give back as much as I can. I do. Because I don't want to use you people. I like you people. I like, I really appreciate all the support and the love and uh, the friendships that I've developed. Like, that's really important to me. And I don't want to ever walk away feeling like I'm using people or that I'm selling them something that isn't true. So I will do my best to try to have some impact on protecting free speech through these cases. But I just want to be clear that I obviously, I am a defendant in them. I have a vested interest in them. There's a great amount of self-interest locked in here too. Um, although it's entertaining for everybody. So I guess, I guess you get something no matter what, right? All right. Jeff Hart said, look at those eyes. He cries between live streams. I don't think he's crying, dude, because I don't believe that he's capable of real human emotion. I honestly think. That he's, <laughs> he's just, just larping. Yeah. He's just really high. Or maybe he like rubs his eyes like to make it look like he's crying so people feel bad for him. Uh, throw the dwarf of, uh, of, throw the dwarf of the house of Torg. Um, are you still going to counter Sue? Yes. And I'll tell you. Like, I was at first disinclined to counter Sue because the guy is essentially judgment proof. He has no fucking money. You can't even take his van anymore because <laughs> a couple of crackheads already did that. Right. So like, there's nothing to like, you'll never recover anything from him. The reason that I'm going to counter Sue is because my subscribers funded it. That's why, honestly, I could, and cause fuck you, Chili, honestly, like you, you think you're going to get this big windfall. Like I'll walk away with a judgment on you. I don't even yeah. Josh is counter suing too. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. IBM, ICBM catcher says, Chili is a great actor. He's got you all bamboozled. I still wonder sometimes because some of this is unreal, you know? It is fucking way out of the dimension of reality at this point. Right, right, right. Like, you know, really. Uh, Loose Cannon says, Hi, Kate. I've got nothing else to say. Well, hi, Loose Cannon. Guess I don't either. 
Um, hold on, Shelly. I'm going to get you a, a, a running uh, total here. It is now at, sorry. Uh, Shady Lamp says, we love you, Kate. Shay and Lori are great. TTU, love Shay and Lori. Yeah. Love you, Shady Lamps. Love Shay and love Lori. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We're at 91317, uh, Chili, in case you were wondering. <laughs> That's a lot of binders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the CIA became a member. Thanks for joining. We got a lot of members coming in. This is like, I got to figure out some better, uh, better, um, member perks here we got to really put the work in now um i never thought this was going to become like a serious thing you know chili's car says zayner and chili sitting in a tree (laughs) k-i-s-s-i-n i could see it happening that whole dynamic is weird it's just odd okay i'm gonna try it this time shiz don't upstage you're gonna upstage me again anyway but i'm gonna try super califragilistic expialidocious all right, now you See, know you it. got it. You doubted yourself. You got it. I know, but I I fucked it up a little. Uh, will you remember the 21st night of September? Yeah, monumental day in internet history here. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is going to replay well. Yeah, I'm telling you, it, like somewhere Louis Pasteur is just rolling over in his grave because we're about to have a lot of milk from this one. A lot of milk. <laughs> Mel, Mel M has uh, contributed $2 for treats for Jake. He will appreciate that. Um, of course, if he continues to bark at me when I'm trying to stream and uh, shake his squeaky dildo all over the place, he will not be getting any because I don't give treats to naughty little shits. Just kidding. He always gets treats. I love him. <laughs> That's usually, honestly, like, I like sometimes I'll be like, all right, Jake. And it, like, he'll just be so aggressive. Like, just annoying, like aggressively annoying that I'll just give him treats just to like get him to be quiet. I'm a terrible dog. Owner. That's why he does it. <laughs> I know. I, I know. was laughing when he was squeaking. It's so cute. Oh, look at this thing. Like this. I, have I told you the story about this thing? Yes. <laughs> it looks like a flash. So <laughs> yes. Yes. So I bought it off Amazon and I was opening the packages with like, you know, it was a bunch of dog toys that I bought because he goes through them. And I opened this one and my daughter was in the kitchen and she was like, mom. And I'm like, what? She's like, why are you opening that in front of me? And I was like, it's a dog toy. And she was like, oh my god, I thought you bought a dildo. And I was like, why would I do that? No, in front of children. no. So I call it Jake's dildo now. And this is his favorite toy, like hands down. My <laughs> beloved canine gay son. I, I, he lo- he lo- he does. He loves sweaters and dildos. Enough said. Uh, Just a bit of chili. Um, Ari here says, isn't that an order violation? I'm assuming you're talking about Zane showing up to the global. So no, because he's not ordered to stay away from me. I'm technically ordered to stay away from him. Do I think it's going to look great when I tell the judge what happened? Probably not. Because if you're in fear, um, you know, of someone, then you're probably not going to like go out of your way to be where they are, would be my thought. That's usually like, you know, if the courts have to order someone to stay away from you, you should stay away from them. That's, you know, just common sense. Jar Visita says, uh, Zane Kane sets a massage world record. Talk about creepy. I've seen the video. It's very odd. I really don't know that much about the guy right now, other than, you know, he went ahead and started doing Chili's dirty work. But, you know, I've started to educate myself a little bit now to see what we're dealing with. Um, Hank's Corner says, Chilito, when your mommy told you you are special, she lied. Depends. (laughs) He, I see he's, he's special. He's very unique. He's very unique. There's only one Chili De Castro in the world. Let's not, you know, Thank give God. him yeah. that as much. He's you just special can't take in ways. Seriously. Yeah, short yellow bars. Yeah. No, not even that. That's offensive. No, I just mean he is. He's he's a unique human being. He's really an interesting character. So that much is true. In that sense, he's special. He's just not talented or intelligent or successful or any of the things that <laughs> yeah he's like national likeable. geographic but like human edition right 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 Ju- oh my god look at this this account chili's high school wrestling coach says his losing record continues also he wasn't a wrestler he was equipment boy he kept begging to be the oil boy we don't have oil boys in wrestling <laughs> <laughs> wow Possible, probable, even 
Poor Chili. And Chili's going to freak out about this. He, like, I hate when he says, like, they're calling me a homosexual. That's, like, defamatory. It's not defamatory. It's not an insult at all. Like, there are a lot of gay subscribers that are recognizing that you show signs of someone who is deeply in the closet. And I think we all can come together and agree that your quality of life would improve exponentially if you just come out of the closet, if that's where you are, like, you know, this is an intervention. painful to watch on the outside. It really is. It really like, it's Kate, ridiculous. didn't he say that you were on psychotropic drugs in front of the judge? Oh, no. Isn't, okay. So first of all, let's, 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 no, let's, let's be, it's really, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily affect your reputation. I am on psychotropic drugs. I am on Prozac. You just turned on your camera, sweetie. Did you mean to do that? No. Okay. All right. I am. I am on Prozac. I have been on Prozac for years. Um, so Thank that is God accurate. you said something. Yeah, no problem. So where he's lying is he, and I got pissed when he did this. He told the judge that I was on court mandated medication. And again, like it's a big deal to have the court come in and mandate that you be on medication. That's a civil rights issue. I am not court mandated to be on medication. I am on medication for depression and I take it because I have depression and I like getting out of bed in the morning. Right. But I don't know. It's just, it, it, again, the gall for him to say that to a judge who could just look it up. It doesn't exist. I mean, like, uh, in order for you to be on medication that the state forces you to take, generally speaking, you're going to be involuntarily committed. Like, that's how that happens, right? Um, but it's my very, point very was, difficult. My point was, isn't that defamatory? Not really. No, it's not true. Oh, it's, it's a lie, but it's not. It's not really reputation because he he, he was heaping so much stuff on at the end. That your face just was shot continuously. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was just making up a bunch of bullshit. Saying that, you know, I'm I I I uh, Zane got an order on me and I immediately broke it. I've never contacted this guy in my life. What he's what he's claiming was a violation of the order was other people coming up on my channel. I wasn't even on the live stream and stating that Zane had gotten that order on me. That's what he considers to be a violation. On a stream I wasn't even present for. It's bananas. It's absolutely fucking bananas. Um, Chili's credit card says, sorry, I trolled him after he was beaten. That's okay. Paul Barry asks, why are 2,253 people watching your channel when you're paying them to troll? Back to the factory. Thank you, Paul Barry. <laughs> Back to the line. troll fields. Back to work. Right, right, right. Back right. to the farm. Uh, Chili's high school wrestling coach asks, Hey, Zayner, how much longer are you going to be his manservant? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Jeff Hart says, what name did the judge write on Chilito's cup? <laughs> Chilito. That's what he said. And then she, you know, wanted him to take a nap and he refused and he kicked his feet. <laughs> uh, the rabbit says, why didn't you object to him being a constitutional teacher and ask him where he got his constitutional national... Oh my gosh. Why didn't you object to him being a constitutional teacher and ask him where he got his constitutional law degree from? Also, Kate always wins in TTU. I mean, there wasn't a lot of room for cross-examination the way that those hearings are set up usually, unless you have an attorney. And it was that would be irrelevant anyway. It doesn't matter. He could be like a Harvard law professor and I still didn't harass him. Um, Scraps to Selby Bowen says, national figure of fun. Yes. He is. I mean, he's not a national figure was a stretch, but he is he's he's well known for being a buffoon. Uh, Sue Valentino says, can somebody tell me what university this man actually went to? He gives advice like he's F. Lee ba Bailey. Um, so he dropped out of Arizona State University. He does not have a college degree. <laughs> he also graduated second to last in his high school class. So, yeah. Um, Ed2276 says, Chile admitted today under oath that he considers himself a national figure. He has just made the case in the defamation suit that he is a public figure. He will have to prove actual malice now. I don't think that it really matters. And this is something I hope Merb or someone who knows what they're talking about addresses at some point. I don't think it really matters what you say. Like saying that you're a public figure can't possibly make you a public figure because otherwise, you know, think about somebody who's delusional and, you know, they're screaming into the void on YouTube. I'm a public figure and no one's watching. It doesn't, you can't speak that into existence. Um, I think that again, all the attention that he gets on YouTube, he's at least a limited public figure. I would, I would guess anyway, in my opinion. 
Don Pennington, thank you for joining. Uh, the CIA says narcissists need affirmation. Yeah. I mean, he really, I, I'm not a doctor, obviously, but he really does seem to be like just a, uh, I only, I only want to play when we're alone, Harry. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> right. No, I, I, he definitely seems to have some of those like, you know, cluster B personality traits. And like, it almost seems like he gets these narcissistic injuries and then just sort of self soothes in public. It's, it's fascinating to watch. Uh, Chili's credit card asks anyone up for a massage from creepy Zane? Nah, I'm going to, I'm going to pass. Um, the Hard guy is pass. out, you know, has that, you know, kind of, um, lurked around parking lots waiting for me twice. And that's pretty uncomfortable. Chili's car says imitation is the highest form of flattery. Unless you're using Chili's catchphrases, then Chili, I hate to tell you, but you, like, you're being mocked. That's what's happening. Yes. <laughs> Zader in the hizzy says, I'm not done, Kate. I'm going to Maine, Connecticut, New York, and definitely Colorado to get more HBOs. I believe that that's, that's what probably I said. It's a joke, but it's not because that's probably what's going to happen. These people are just never going to stop. Uh, Chad Tran says, did he get another warrant? No, no warrant. No, that was a different case altogether. It was a misunderstanding. Uh, Zayner says, I still love you, Chili. That's nice. <laughs> I like, I like people to reconcile. Yeah, I do. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, they're so good. They're the best. Oh, you ever. guys are so good. <laughs> Chili's blow up doll says, this really sucks for me. I'm in for such a beating tonight. I, I'm sorry. And Nutella. Tomorrow, and Nutella. Nutella. There you go. <laughs> right. There you go, Chili. Give give the girl a break. Um, Scraps to Selby Bowen says, in Chili's case, irritation is the lowest form of flummery. Yeah, he fucks up his words more than I do, huh? That's a feat. Really good. <laughs> Chili's blow up doll says he worked all of 20 minutes on that video. The rest of the time was getting the Nutella out of my crevices. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I love these things because they are believable. They are believable. Uh, Biff Thundermuffin says, my opinion is that he used cuts from your live stream and called himself from a burner and left voicemails. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much accurate from anything. He definitely used cuts from my live streams. Um, I didn't ever get to hear all these supposed uh, phone calls that he said that he had recorded, but I assume that's probably what he tried and then realized after the fact that it wasn't going to work. So he went to plan B, which was that amazing fucking video. I imagine he probably was up pretty late the night before the hearing, just figuring out what fake evidence he could and couldn't get away with in his feeble little mind. Uh, Mia Mina says, Troll Mafia official. I love how he doesn't even know how to stream from the laptop and share a screen <laughs> without using a phone camera to show the other screen. Yeah, it's actually infuriating. Is. He is like deranged. Yeah. His computer screen is always so it's like come on, dirty. Papa. Like why? Yeah, and it's like right. a curved screen, and it, it's just pointless. There's a lot of DNA on that screen. There is. Austin Thinker says, "Sorry, I was late, but I'd like to think I was key to securing the perimeter. I owe you a drink, Kate. Yeah, dude, like definitely we'll get together. I, we, while we were at the restaurant, she says that's who I was on the phone with with this guy. And I was like, where'd you go? Because he got stuck in traffic. He sat in the parking lot for a while, and then he just left. And I was like, hey, we're going out to lunch. We're all gonna get together, guys. Because like honestly, I was looking forward to hanging out with some people, and then I hung out with Shiz, which was fantastic. But we could have really gotten a rowdy crowd together. It would have been. Oh, fun. you're overselling it. Well, Austin should have." We are fun. We are fun people, Shiz. We always have a really good time. We do dumb things. We eat apps, uh, and then we walk in circles for four hours. <laughs> Basically. It He's is my fun. most active friend. I, I think I'm losing weight because of you, so thank you. Um, Chad Tran says, those look like Oklahoma plates. Yeah, no, I mean, that's definitely not my car. Like, that's actually, I am offended at what little effort Chili went to, you know, to fake that evidence. You could have at least found a car that looked like mine. Like, fuck you. If you're going to come, come correct. Like, put put the work in, Chili. You, you didn't put the work in. <laughs> I can't even. Can somebody else read Super Chats? For, can you pick it up for a few? I'm dying here. Sure. Chili's blow up, though. Thank I'm you. so confused. When we're alone, he dresses me up as Ponch from Chips, and there's a lot of Nutella that he's blown about. <laughs> Damn, coming in hot. 
<laughs> well, Zayner, for those of you wondering why he touched what he thought might be poop, I can promise you that he's not afraid of it. <laughs> Clearly. Prostate massages, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Hart's case, case list of victims include um, Emperor Palpatine, Hitler, and Kaiser Zose. And Shalito will now have stories to share as the newest Petco employee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Adam McGuire was probably Waldo that sent the, the crap <laughs> Found Waldo. Where is he, though? Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? We gotta say it 97 more times now. Um, Chili is the national dunk tank. Here's 499 for three throws. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Zener, he's not a bad actor. He's been acting like he likes women for years. <laughs> <laughs> he, I don't confirm nor deny that. Right, right, right. <laughs> Ari here. He looks around like Kate is in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> he did. With the poop on his hand. Dude, he's Nutella. Freaking. Nutella. <laughs> no, like you're hiding in the bushes, now. you'd be fucking cackling. <laughs> um, just a dude, he's lucky he didn't submit that video to court. That wouldn't be legit perjury. Yeah, he's not afraid of that. It's it's very clear. Uh, Zayner, okay. He said it's his job. He, he even lost me with that. And I'm his only friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, K Far. Oh, God. J I A B D? Yeah. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Uh, I um, either. My brain's not working enough to try to figure it out. Um, Zayner, okay. Oh. You went backwards. Oops. Yeah. Ben Holden, his video needs the curvy enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> don't give him any ideas. Or please do, actually. Nemo, <laughs> chilly, desperate for income, tries to get a product placement deal with Nutella. <laughs> Dude, what does that mean? Josh is a bad dad what? for broken BSB. system, broken trust, but he doesn't oh. even, like exist. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we don't like exists. to go after people's parenting because I don't even know anything about his kids. Yeah, that's oh, something really I'm not in on. You so don't even we'll want to know. Yeah. Zayner. Zayner, <laughs> tonight's gonna be rough. Blow up dog getting dressed up like a cop, and I have to dress like Kate again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. That's a lot of that's a lot of flannel. <laughs> like... <laughs> I I hope that it's the Kate cop outfit. Um, Jeff yeah. Hart's the judge did want a copy of the copy for the office Christmas party. <laughs> I can't. Okay. M More guy you? Um, did you have to disclose who Sean was in Discovery? He said you were going to have to say who Sean was. Did he? Yeah. I don't know who Sean is. I'm assuming it's a guy named Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Kate. Start there. <laughs> kind of jumping off. I cracked the case, Chili. I did it for you. <laughs> uh, facty, I bet Chili will stream from his car tomorrow. He doesn't have a car. I'm so sorry to break that to you. No, he is not um, seen car. Uh, true. Or maybe, possibly, true, allegedly. Pam B, oh, up God. late to make a Nutella toddler training video. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's legit. Like, Kate, you've met my youngest daughter. Like, that's when she shoves her whole hand in the Nutella. <laughs> like, that's the exact Yeah, I know. It, lo it, literally looked like, it looked like her making, like, mud soup or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made this for you. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> Chad Tran. Is he keep on going? Uh, he does not stop, actually. <laughs> it's kind of his thing. We need Biff, Thunder... <laughs> Biff Thunder Mufflin. I wonder how he's going to grow his channel if he doesn't tell anyone where he will be. Coward. <laughs> um, I just love that stream where he said he doesn't broadcast his location as he was stopped in front of a street sign. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, Edwin Wickham, down payment on the tractor for your troll farm. Thank you. It's uh, We're getting acreage every day, I guess, you know? Yeah, yeah, Sue yeah. Sue me, bitch. Chili's poop in. <laughs> oh, oh, trust me, there's, there's a lot he's not telling you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Hitch Pod, did we just watch him die inside? The light left his eyes when he chuckled before announcing his big secret. There was never a light there. I'm so sorry. Right. Any light you saw was a reflection of his ring light. Yeah. <laughs> Gaming with both hands. Hi, Chili. You just made two dollars. Uh, you just made Kate two dollars. Free Charlie. Oh. Poor Charlie. I'm I'm worried about the Nutella situation now. To be honest. Right. We're already here. <laughs> I've seen better middle school slideshows. <laughs> I've made better Accurate. ones. Seriously, I've made better ones in middle school. The Office, Pivot, Caton. Oh my God. Now I'm not going to try to read that because that'll be so offensively white, but thank you. Okay, um, right. just, a, just a dude, spoiler alert, Chili's secret is Charlie's his girlfriend. I don't know, Char Charlie couldn't have made that call. Poor Charlie. <laughs> um... Tina Betro, he's so, he's so scary. He says he's moving on. He's not. He is seriously shocked he didn't win. It's going to take months for him to recover. That laugh sounds like he's been, like he's releasing the evil boiling inside him. He's been doing this for what four or five months now. This is his menstrual yeah, cycle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, love life. I grew up in Kate's troll farm. Oh, won't, weren't those the days? Um, I don't know who started <laughs> this, but please no. <laughs> Feet are fucking I did, I disgusting. Did. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> Please don't. Adam McGuire, Rub Rubble is going down long-term yeah. investment. Thank you. Ruble. Rubles. Oh, sorry. Yeah. See, okay. I'm offensively white with that shit. Um, Jihan Beaton, thank you for joining. Oh, my God. Shonano, thank you for joining. Perceived Authority, thank you for joining. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. <laughs> This dummy makes me look like Gandhi. Thanks for taking the heat off me for a bit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these damn trolls on this damn farm. Vladimir Putin, you failed worse than my army and, and that's saying something. <laughs> damn. Um, Adam McGuire, the next hit show is like Seinfeld, but with Chili, Bobby Laws, Lauren, and Zane as a half-hour comedy, keeps losing cases until maybe he wins in a finale. Um, <laughs> it's going to probably be a cliffhanger. I don't think he'll ever win anything. Uh, Devil's Advocate, I can't believe he said he was known nationwide as if he is known for more than playing with chocolate sitting <laughs> on his live stream crying. <laughs> that would be more entertaining sometimes. <laughs> oh, my God. Jason's old lady, dude, I'm stoked for you. We're all stoked for her. Very stokeable occasion. Jam Beaton, I've been subscribed for a while, but tonight I joined. You're an inspiration to many and one tough broad. Kate always wins. She is a tough broad. Thank you. <laughs> Toughest. Chili's Nutella bag on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Kate always wins like the sign that was above me. <laughs> I like that the card had wine on it. It was such a wino. Right, right, right. It was admirable. Uh, B. Blanco. Yeah, that was my only regret, and I can't believe that was Shizzle with you. I've always wanted to know what Shizzle looks like. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> McAddicts. I'm going to say it like McDonald's, bro. My check is in Russian. How do I cash it? Uh, <laughs> ooh, I don't know. Um, on the black yeah, market. Right? On the dark web, I guess. Matt H. Chili posting anti-vax stuff on TikTok, yet he took the jab for a fact. I don't care either way, just pointing out that hypocrisy. Yeah, you'll of find course. a lot of hypocrisy if you look at Chili for any amount of moments. Kate's new toy that just drives at batteries. We need batteries. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so quick. Are right, here, TTU meet up? Yeah, let's get some Hell bars. yeah. Hell yeah. Chili thinks we are bots. My real name is 0010010. <laughs> it's the exact sequence from Futurama, and I appreciate that. Um, Julie the Bookworm, thank you for joining. Matt H., when the bank repos your car, it's not stolen. Um, no, the, from the report, it appears it was actually stolen. And Kate did it. Of I course, didn't. she does everything. No, you're the cause of all the world's problems. Uh, Chili's got well, me holding her breath Denver. waiting for Chili to pay up on his bet. Um, I was in Denver when that van disappeared. <laughs> Don't um, that. Right. I'm late to the party, but not FF because this intro is banging. <laughs> um, Rubber Ducky, you're the one. Five dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Ice Blade. Uh, 
65, definitely pronged chili. <laughs> he might, or may, he may or may not have been pronged. Um, Ed, 2276, what do chili and a chicken have in common? They both don't have lips. <laughs> they both uh, have a limited lifespan on social media. <laughs> John Hendry, family dinner on us tomorrow. Sorry, couldn't get it off. Sixty nine ninety nine. LOL. You're supposed to say giggity, not LOL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Juicy B, thank you for joining this fucking shit show. Uh, Steve K, Chili's mama's eggs were expired when she conceived. No. Rotten. Oh no. G Rob, what did Chili say about putting a gun to someone's head in court, or did he? Um, yes. Yes. So he claimed that he was so. Uh, he claimed that we traveled to his Airbnb. Hold on. You have to see my face when I say this because I, I really want to impress all this. He said that we traveled to his Airbnb in Ohio, I believe it was, at three o'clock in the morning, tapped on all his windows, and he was so afraid that the next day the handyman that maybe we sent, I'm not sure about that part, but he says a handyman showed up, that he put a gun to the handyman's head. What the and, he, fuck? and don't forget he was that's cocaine that's cocaine psychosis i'm sorry but if you really think people are tapping on your windows and then you respond the next day by placing a firearm at the head of another human being who is not trying to harm you like you need help bro get help <laughs> what the Stop. fuck no yeah and don't forget in the original story he was butt ass naked when he did this right 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 oh oh that's good job good job terrifying. just he broadcast that unhinged lunatic Taco on Yoshi Gaming, help trapped in the basement with Mitch. <laughs> Not good. Oh, no. Scraps to Zobi Bowen. I've been in the hospital for a lot of time with a lot of pills taken. Anytime I want, I can refuse. They will shake their heads, but that's my right. Uh, yes, right. it's very yeah. hard for the state to mandate med medication on anyone. Um, P226MH. Um, I'd crowdfund for him to go to rehab. I... I wish he would. I'm worried in. about the little guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd throw, I, I'd throw down on that. Hank's yeah. corner, Chilito's car stolen in exchange for a bag of chili powder? <laughs> That's conjecture. Mike and the boys. Um, all right, that's all of them. Oh, wait, another. thank you, Superior Nutcase, for becoming a member. You're going to fit right in here. Right, 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 right. All right, so all right. Let, thank you guys for all that. I'm going to let uh, Todd go up now. He's got something to say, and then we're going to end it. Put some shorts on, Taco. Taco? Yeah. Taco, this is your me? moment. Yeah, oh, I wasn't know. sure if I was off or not. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, the big announcement is since Chili decided he was going to make a board game, and I used to be in the board game industry, I am officially making an unofficial card game called uh, Chili Always Loses. And it'll be out in October. Awesome. And it'll be free to everyone. It'll be a you'll be able to print it off or online and play it with your family. Okay, so fine. when you do that, I'm gonna play it with my family. I'm gonna live stream. Uh, it'll be the first ever. Uh, you know, Peter, a million other last names. Uh, <laughs> like um, uh, family board game night on a live stream. I'm, I'm pledging that right now. If you do that, I will print it out. I will play it with my family on a live stream. Oh, are it's already like half. It's already half designed in my head. So, are these trifold cards? Fast. Are these trifold cards? No, they will not. They're not trifold cards, but there will be a card called trifold. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's Taco. some good news, guys. On that Taco. note, we've been going for almost three hours. Fuck. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. So I gotta go to bed. But. Thanks for joining us, guys. Always a good time. Oh, uh, there'll quick, be more fuckery the, in the works. What's the up? Running total, the running total, did you keep up with it? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. $1,370.91, Chili. Oof. That's a lot of binders. That's, that's more than you make in a month, Chili. Go fuck That's a lot of appetizers. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> there'll be more fucking court fuckery going on for the foreseeable future. So that's always fun. But I'm going to keep making these... Uh, I'm going to keep making these uh, hearings and I'm going to keep dealing with them as they come. Uh, I am go ex I am anticipating that the fundraising money is supposed to uh, disperse tomorrow. So I can tell you right now that I've already got some of it spent on legal fees. We'll be going over that. I showed it on the members only stream. 
Um, we'll be doing some accounting. So keep an eye on that. I'm going to be super transparent with this whole thing. I have somebody else going to be doing some accounting with me, trying to figure out the whole, you know, account issue as far as like where this money is actually going to sit, but I'll figure it out tomorrow. I'm tired right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. As always, I love you all. Fun time. Um, I'd really like to get a get together going for a while. I'd like to take people out for, for some dinner or something. So let's work on that. Okay. All right, please. All right. Absolutely. All right, guys. Have, you know how I feel about night. people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> our, our people are the best people. We always have so much fun. True. True. All right, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you soon. Love you. Good night. Good night. Good night.